Um, oh. Shit, yeah. Um. Let's try it. Hello, hello, hello. Ah, fantastic. Hello there. Uh, welcome to another Forza Horizon and chill. I am Dan Alem. We're on a Friday. It's weird. <laughs> a lot of stuff is weird. <laughs> They have still not fixed um, the season, as far as I can tell. I, I think I think they're going to skip this season, and so for the next few weeks, they will. Um, you know, the force of season twenty three will be basically this, um, and we will have a. And, and they'll do something right for uh, season 24 or whatever. Um, the world is strange right <laughs> now. And it's been a really, really strange week for me personally. Um, not a very fun week, if I'm entirely honest. Um, I'll get into some of that. Probably won't get into all of it because I kind of want to forget a lot of it. Right, so there we go. I did get my, I did get my 80%. Um... I'm happy about. Uh, yeah, as you can see, we still don't have. It's still money and wheel spins. Uh, and three drift, three drift. Um, so it is the Ford Shelby TT500. It's a very nice car. Although you have to drive a different. Well, the Shelby TT500. Ah, uh, I see. The Mustang 13 is what it's, is what the game the car's called in game, but it is actually the Shelby TT500, which is a it's a form of Mustang. Well. Well, I'll show you which one, which one we mean anyway. Um, but yeah, we're, we're still weird. I checked for the Horizon support, and essentially this is true for everyone. They just they have a go season, um, so um, they have a se the, the basically what it is is they plan to have a different season uh, hap uh, happen this month, uh, but something happened. We're not sure what it's. Um, it, it, it could relate to a whole matter of other factors. Whatever it was, they, could, they didn't finish it in time, or there was some issue with it uh, before it went live. So they have resorted to a backup, which is... Um, oh, shit, I didn't mean to do that. Um, they resorted to a backup. Um, there is definitely better ways of, of going backwards than this. <laughs> But we didn't just go back. Um, so, basically, if you're not logged in online, you can still play season mode. That's the weird thing about this game. It, it has uh, what are known as emergency seasons, which is basically you have... There's like a pool of tasks you need to do. We have to get certain cars and do certain things. And you, instead of getting uh, bonus cars and stuff, you get bonus... Um, you get money and you get wheel spins. Right, I don't... I may have already upgraded this, I can't quite tell. No, I haven't. Right, so let's upgrade. Um, and so, the the the, the Forza Horizon thing, in fact, you know what, I'm going to try and get the actual tweets um, up on my phone. Uh, do bear with me. Forza support is actually the most recent thing I looked at. Um, oh, 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 some, oh, some new stuff. Um, okay, uh, right, so this is from the 4th of June, uh, which I think was actually after I did my stream. As we were finishing up the Series 23 update, we discovered an issue that has prevented us from releasing on time. That means that when the game season changes today, the game that will not have the content we had hoped to bring you and will instead revert to a backup version of Summer, which is the thing we're looking at. Um, we apologise for this and we are looking working tirelessly to get this issue resolved and deliver the update that we know you're also keen to play. Apparently a day ago, they've actually fixed it. Um, we're hoping to release the build next week. After the season change over on Thursday the 18th, you'll see the correct season 22 content for the rest of the series. Whether that means they'll go back and actually give you the content that was missing, I don't know. But it does mean that we actually have... Um, it 
does mean um, that we are sorted. <coughs> it, it, it does mean that whatever the problem was has been resolved. It took. It, I, I had to be careful of as I was saying this. I don't want to. I don't want to sound. I don't want to sound too mean, because um, obviously I'm not a developer, so I don't know. But it must have been a big issue for it to be delayed as long as it was, given. Um, I have updated graded this, but I, I upgraded it to A class, so it must. I must have used it for a race. Um, I. Um, I kind of. I'm glad it's fixed. I, I don't. I wonder if they're going to bring back some of the content that's going to be missing, or either be some like doubling up or bumper stuff or whatever, or if you completed the task, um, like I like I obviously I did last week, and I'm going to uh, today hopefully. Um, we, you'll uh, get what was meant to be the content to begin with. Let's go for. Well, I mean, they look ridiculously awesome. Uh, do we have any? Profile. Um, do we have any? Um, let's go for that. D does do, do, would, would the rewards that we would have got ordinarily kind of you know do we get do we would, would receive them? I suppose that's the, qu the question I'm trying to ask, but kind of struggled to. I wouldn't. I would be surprised if it did. Honestly, I think. Um, Definitely more wheel drive, um, and I, I think what we will see in practice is um, they'll probably cycle some of the content into other updates, and obviously, and like it'll be in like wheel spins and stuff like that, um, which is a shame, but you know it is what it is. Um, we will actually. I'm going I'm to change this uh, decal as well. I, I'm pretty sure I showed this decal on stream, but we'll um, obviously, do, obviously, you know, it's a new season, new jobs, new in inverted commas. Uh, we'll, if we're going to wander through the ghost town that is um, Forza Horizon 4 on a, on a ghost season, then we probably should pick something, you know, suitably ridiculous. Do you have anything ghostly? Let's look at this ridiculous thing. It's not ghosty colours. That'll do. Um, so yeah, we're going. Yeah, so we're going to try and get through the whole season. Um, usual caveat supply, like um, it's going to take around three hours ish, usually. Um, everything's kind of been put back for me, so usually this will be the day after I I do I have a recording session. So I have a recording session like every other Thursday. But uh, this time, that is on Friday because everything's been delayed. Right, so let us do drag strips. Uh, so I, I don't unfortunately have, um, usually I can kind of like, I can just, I'll just be like, I, I know I'm not busy. But honestly, I've kind of started this stream quite early deliberately it's just to make sure I can get through everything. Um, and get, um, we won't get to 80, but we'll get to like 70 something percent. Uh, oh, I'm gonna! I, oh, I'm gonna! I'm gonna! I'm gonna! I'm gonna get killed by the content police, <laughs> right? I mean, there's plenty of stuff that needs to be talked about right now, and, and I'm probably going to start going from less serious to more serious. I think that seems like the safest way of doing stuff. So, one is that Twitch has changed. Well, Twitch has. Oh, well, I mean, technically it hasn't. Twitch has changed because it's enforcing stuff that was already technically part of it. Oh, for God's sake! No, 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 no. What the fuck? I'm certain I turned that off. Right, let's let's put it on expert anyway. Um, right, audio. Streamer mode on. Why the hell was it ever turned off? Right. It actually, funnily enough, relates to the music you just heard then. Um, oh, okay. <laughs> That's fine. Um, 
So what happened? So what's happened is that um, certain major music groups have kind of started uh, pressuring Twitch to bring in um, live scanning technology. And uh, for for those who don't know, live scanning technology is um, audio technology that um, can tr can check a, a stream for copyright content as it's playing. Now, um, I don't know exactly how this works. Obviously, a lot of it will be under non-disclosure agreements and patent stuff and things like that. So, it'll be hard to tell exactly what it is. But um, the basic upshot is that um, it, it is that you're not that there won't just be there'll be much harsher penalties for um, for a. Uh, yeah. For, for for having a, like uh, illegal music, uh, well, that's illegal music, really, uh, technically illegal music. Having music that's not authorized for streaming, um, because of the bizarre way uh, performing rights licenses work. Um, basically, what you what you ha what you have here, um, it, it's Warner Music Group. It's I believe it's Sony. It might be a few other music kind of. Think companies, but are have found out that people are using Twitch for. Um, sorry, bear with me. I'm just going to turn the audio down slightly because um, this bit is quite important. I realised that kind of quite a lot of people are using Twitch and other streaming services. To be fair, uh, as DJs, uh, particularly during uh, the COVID nineteen outbreak, because a lot of um, a, a lot of COVID-19, uh, sorry, a lot of clubs have been shut down in the wake of the, of the pandemic. In fact, all of them have, really. Um, um, and so, basically, to kind of keep people's sanity and to try and make some modicum of money or whatever, uh, some DJs... Shut up, Anna! That's the first one on the, <laughs> the stream. Uh, that... Um, because obviously they're playing licensed music, or at least you know, make music based on licensed music. They're um, you know, that's you know, kind of liable for for copyright abuse. And so, what you have seen is a lot of is a lot of people getting uh, that are getting uh, muted and challenged and things like that. I mean, I've had a couple of BODs muted, and I don't really care because um, you know there isn't really a whole lot on this channel. The issue that concerns me isn't necessarily music. If it was just music, it was fine. Even if it was like bands, like temporary bands or whatever, that's fine. The problem is they, uh, Twitch, have implemented at some point, and I'm not sure exactly when, they implemented a three strikes rule for um, for uh, things like this, basically, um, for, for copyright issues. And so if you have... Um, so if there's three bits of content uh, that's copyrighted, then you lose your stream, which is, I, I, which is meant to stop um, people from like streaming, like you know, uh, pay per view events and things like that. Which, and I, and I get that. I'm not, you know, I, I, I you know, I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not going to, I, I'm not, I'm not going to be flippant enough to say to, to say that piracy is not a problem on Twitch. My God, it is. If you, you know, there's that amazing. Um, Video of a of like an of a streamer who held a controller, put his webcam in the at the corner of the screen, and then put, and then uh, pretended to play what was an actual UFC event. It's like wow, those graphics are amazing, aren't they? And like he'd like do like little commentary and things like that. Like, Ooh, that was a that was a shock hit or something like that. It was great, um, you know. And honestly, he probably shouldn't have been banned, but probably should have got a medal for that. <laughs> and he probably did for some people. Anyway. Um, Shut up, Anna. Yeah, if we're going to do direction for events, we may as well do the last, do the most major. One. Sorry, I'm all over the place. Uh, it's um, quite hectic. So, the problem with this though is um, is that it doesn't just affect DJs. It doesn't just affect people who are you know streaming music illegally, um, you know, and making money and making money from it through subscriptions, tips, bits, whatever usual money stuff um it is this the way they're enforcing it um you know affects uh game it affects games that rely heavily on licensed music or have licensed music that can't be removed 
if it wasn't for stream mode on Forza Horizon, that would put me at risk. <laughs> um, that's why I was like, that's, that's, that's why I was so annoyed that it kind of it apparently turned streamer mode off. Because um, honestly, I, I think the soundtrack of uh, Forza Horizon Four is kind of crap, um, and that's fine. I, you know, I don't use it. I usually sing over it. Um, not really in that much of a mood to sing today. Um, if I'm entirely honest, this is kind of going to be a little bit of a. A, li a little bit of a wine fest. I'll try and avoid. I'll try and avoid it as best I can. It won't be. It won't be quite as positive as my streams usually at least try to be. Um, but um, the issue is with um, games that rely on licensed music, which is primarily rhythm games. Like I, at one point, was going to try and try and set up a Clone Hero for streaming. That's absolutely out of the question now um you know i mean i suppose i could risk a ban like it, like i don't have that many people following anyway but it would be annoying uh, to like a, a, you know attempt to attempt to you know it, you know it, it, it'd be annoying to kind of to to, to 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 try that and then have it you know have uh, nothing to show for it, for it but a banned account. Um, I am going to. Oh, jam. I'm on the wrong side of the road to start getting points from this. Um, actually, actually, there's one thing I will do. Uh, um, yeah, I'm going to upgrade this car because we've got to get skill score. So, the best way to do that is just to basically buy all your upgrades. Um, what was I going? What was I even saying? Um, yeah, so that's really annoying because it's basically it's killed certain people's um, like ability to work on Twitch. Like um, I was watching Jason Paradise's stream. He's a really really good guitar hero and clone hero player, uh, and he was like saying like this has basically devastated the community. He was he, he's gonna he, he's finding ways around it. He's you know that that's he's you know he's good. He's, he's very po he's a very positive guy. But it's um, but it is one of those things that you can't help. Um, but it can't help but have an have a negative effect on rhythm games. Uh, you can't play you can't play a lot of licensed songs. Basically, the only licensed songs you can play are ones where um, the musician owns the rights or has very specific written permission to do so, and. Um, there was the kind of hilarious um, issue of Herman Lee getting uh, copyright claimed for playing his own song on YouTube. And the thing is, it's it's even more annoying on YouTube because YouTube not, don't don't only scan for uh, music, but they scan for melodies, um, which is comical. Um, like you know, like it seems utterly ridiculous to ban like cover versions and things like that, and I can't imagine what they were thinking when they put that in that's that's like that's that's you know you know it's like whatever next right um it's weird uh it's kind of reminiscent some people have called it the ad, ad called it very similar to the adpocalypse i'd say it's more reminiscent of um the oh it's more reminiscent of actually early youtube um the specifically Viacom lawsuit here on YouTube, which um, does, I mean, there's a really good uh, video by Ant Lemon about it, but um, I would say, but it, it, essentially, essentially how, it, how, how what happened was that Viacom tried to sue uh, YouTube for a, for a billion dollars. It was one of the most ridiculous, like, you know, cap unnecessary and capricious lawsuits um, I think that's ever been done in the history of intellectual property. Um, it, like even Nintendo hasn't gone that bad. I mean, it, uh, Nintendo have done some really shitty things when it comes to copyright, but not nothing, nothing to that level. Um, and then, um, Jesus, and and basically the, at that point they had uh, they brought in the infamous uh, three strikes rule, which they which they still kind of have, but they kind of. Uh, which, which they have even to this day, but it's kind of they've um, 
they've kind of added a bit more nuance and like strikes can get removed which is which is the interesting thing um in in 2007 basically the entire copyright system was you, you had three strikes one two three you, you you get three you're out and you can the worst thing is each individual in each individual infraction counted as a strike so you could often get so often what you see is one day a channel would be there and the next day they'd be gone because of three completely unnecessary um, uh, infractions. This was actually something that killed, that uh, nearly killed gaming YouTube or uh, gaming uh, gaming like YouTube content for a while. Uh, particularly, the, um, oh, God damn it, I lost my combo. Um, particularly, so there was basically a, a and part of the reason why um, you saw a lot of like sub channels kind of coming and, and also why blip was quite popular for a while um is um that you'd see channels like uh, you, you saw like it seemed like every week like another gaming youtube was being was getting was getting suspended or or deleted or banned or shut down i think at one point the angry video game there got suspended like that's how that's how extreme it got like he i mean at that point he'd already i think he'd already was working with game trailers and screw attack or whatever but he, but the kind of the but the thing is, it's like, he was like, at that point, he was the biggest YouTuber. Uh, the, the biggest gaming YouTuber out there, um, despite attempts to push someone like the, like the Irate Gamer. But he, well, you know, kind of, he was massive, and even then he wasn't immune to um, the, this kind of major, major copyright s uh, system. Um, and it also affected all the channels I really liked at the time, like Planet Bogard, um... Uh, I'm at 21. Uh, the Spooner one actually almost almost got it as well, and he actually made a really good vid video just before he left to basically join the what what became Channel Awesome, basically saying like you've got all these people getting suspended. I'm on like strike two. I've got I've got to go. Um, nowadays, I mean it's it's all. I mean the copyright system is awful in its own way. Um, and you know the demonetization system is really bad in a lot of ways. Um, arguably, it has much worse of an effect now because in 2007 people weren't making money off YouTube. This wasn't a, a primary, a primary income source. While for a lot of people on Twitch and on YouTube, it is. Um, you know, and it's it, it really, really, really sucks, honestly. Um, and I, you know, I, I my theory about it is that it's basically this is this is this is some kind of bargaining tactic uh, to try and go like to try and you know whip up like pressure to either make the major levels relent which is unlikely or create some sort of safe harbor deal like they have with um like they have with youtube where you can where uh you know they'll they'll demand you know where um video but there's 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 like a content ID system where they'll they'll demonetize things and the, and then you can kind of you can have a um, yeah you, you 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 can you can have a you know you can this, there's a bit more bit better a bit better system to you know claim ownership of something or claim fair use of of something. Um, it's. It's really, really, it's really annoying. It really sucks. Like, um, and I, you know, I, and, like, and I you know, genuinely hope that kind of it's it, it it's not something that lasts forever. Not, I mean, I, it it won't affect me in two ways. One, this isn't my this is this isn't my source of income in any way, and also it's like you know I don't play games with I, I try I don't. I mean, the thing—the thing about it, and the thing that's kind of makes it a little bit Orwellian is you. Well, oh, well, probably is the wrong term for it, but um, the thing that makes it concerning, almost panoptic, I guess. Pan yeah, panoptic's a better term because you don't know where you're going to get caught. Is that you don't know what game, what game soundtracks are under license and which aren't. Like, it's not—it's not just a case of licensed music. Okay, licensed music. It's you know, gonna get like caught or whatever because of the way the licensing works. That's that that you know that's that's that that's annoying, but that is what it is. This is more about um, don't hit that. Uh, this is more about um, 
whether um, you know, you know, you don't know whether certain like games with just regular soundtracks can get caught. And that's stuff you've seen in um, master monetization campaigns and mass copyright flagging and striking campaigns on YouTube. Is that uh, companies will just kind of like prey upon it, and there uh, there is also the genuine concern of depending on how bad the system is of of um, you know bad actors that pretending to serve as copyright enforcement agencies, and also in some cases legitimately doing so, and filing co uh, false copyright claims for for content they don't own and don't have the right to pursue copyright over. <laughs> sorry, that, sorry, that tractor just hit a car. Oh! I th think I got away with it. Okay, now. Okay, now I'm stuck in a rock. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, heavens. Oh, heavens. What have I done? Right, well, I'll probably need to fast travel anyway, so we'll fast travel somewhere where there's some nicer roads to kind of get skills on. Um. So yeah, so that's that's kind of something that's weighed on my mind. And when I kind of read a, a lot of the stuff about it, like it was kind of like a big news thing a few a few days ago, and I kind of that along with some stuff in my own in my personal life. Shut up, Hannah. Kind of made me lose my kind of motivation to stream this week. I'm I'm kind of glad to do it now, uh, mostly just to get it off my chest. Um, you know, it's. There we go. Uh, so what else? <laughs> um, so that so that's that and that's so that's kind of the the Twitch copyright stuff. I hope there's a resolution. It sounds like uh, this is you know rumor on top of rumor, on top of Chinese whisper. Uh, so I can't confirm this, but I, I do. But as far as I, but. R rumors abound. Scuttlebutt has it that there, that there is some kind of negotiation being taking place between Twitch and um, kind of performing rights agencies and major labels and stuff like that to try and um, find some way of um, revenue sharing or some kind some kind of resolution that will allow content creators to stay on the platform. And I hope that happens. I hope it's. It's sensible and sensible and um, you know fair enough that it will allow a lot of content creators um, you know leeway to to, to work as they work. Uh, you know it, it'll be weird, and I you know I'm just hoping it won't be like a random like roll of the dice like uh, YouTube's content ID is. But I suppose the revenue streams on Twitch are different anyway. It's 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 that you know, you, you pay direct investments into Twitch so I don't I don't know if system like that will necessarily work. Auto muting seems to work. Um you know maybe have like um I suppose you could technically have like an automatic like a stream automatically shut down for like five minutes or something. That I mean I I, I think the problem is that's rife for abuse as well and you know I I, I think the main issue I have is deleting channels if that's happening. I, I like uh, Twitch has usually been quite good with how with its bans in that generally you won't get banned forever. You'll get banned for a set period of time, and that period of time increases with each infraction, unless it's like something exceptionally egregious, like you know, like violent, like you know, extreme violence or death threats or something like that. But um, you know, I think this should be on the level of infraction where you. You know, if you keep doing it, you get banned for a little bit, and if you keep doing it after that, you get banned for increasing levels of time. Like I, I think it's, I, I think anything other than that is is a bit, you know, un, un kind of unfair on a lot of content creators. It's it, it's weird. It really is. Something is wrong with my phone. Sorry, I use my phone to check stuff, and um, it's been very annoying when it comes to um, 
Yeah, there we go. Yeah, there we go. That's fixed itself. Um, it's getting quite annoying when, when it comes to volume control, but it might it might be my headphones. Of, um, I don't, although they seem okay, and maybe they're playing up or something. Anyway, um, we are. How far are we away from a million? Please tell me we're getting closer. Six forty-four. Okay, we're okay. We're getting there. Um, let's, yeah, let's go on the motorway to get the rest of it then. Um, so that is um, discussion of, of um, Twitch basically. Um, you know, I obviously I don't make any money off, off it. Ob ob you know, obviously if opportunity arose, if I ended up developing a serious follow, a significant following, and people wanted to, then that'd be great. But I'm not. But I, I'm not staking Twitch uh, as like a as a future thing or YouTube or anywhere really. I don't. Yeah, you know, I think. I, I think you need to be a certain level of of creator to to really bet bet on any content pl creation platform. You have to you have to be both very good, believe you're very good, and also believe that people will stick around. And um, and I'm definitely not at that level yet. Whether and I. And, I don't know how like it is that I will get to that level. I, I'm I'm not I'm not one of those who's going to be like fake it till you make it. Like I, yeah, you know, I, I want to kind of be honest, uh, and I will probably be either getting a job or, you know, kind of very much looking for a job soon. So I'll probably be streaming a lot less. Even though I've only really streamed once this week anyway. Um, it will be. Um, it, it it's going to be a weird time. Uh, so, yeah, it's not been a good week, um, a lot of the stuff that kind of has bothered me the last couple of weeks is still there, Start looking for work today and it's kind of been a bit soul destroying just how little, uh, how few jobs there are kind of looking for vacancies, I mean obviously we're, we are coming out of lockdown, the the recent economic report has put the UK GDP down 20%. Uh, so basically a fifth of the value of the, a fifth of the worth of the country has been wiped out in three months. Um, you know, which I'm, you know, whatever, I don't really care about that. Uh, I, I only care about that insofar as it helped, uh, as, you know, whether I get, whether I get jobs or not. Uh, when I can afford, you know, when I can afford to eat and live and all that kind of stuff, so that that's kind of annoying. Uh, I did a few applications. I have a thing I need to finish actually for one of those applications. I actually got I actually got hold back asking asking to do a writing task, so I will do that. It's for Monday, so I'll probably just do uh, I'll probably do that on Saturday. Give myself some time to kind of think about it. Not really been in the right headspace for it. Not been in the right headspace for a lot. Um, stream, you know, stream is one of those things that's also kind of one of the, you know, it, it's lovely when I do it, but it's one of those things where you kind of have to have yourself out there and I've not felt that good about myself, I suppose, um, the last few days. Yesterday was just really annoying, like I, um, our house got misblamed for block, for blocking drains, so uh, basically I had my, my arm down in a, in a gunky, in a gunky, in a gunky drain pulling out leaves for like two hours. Um, which is never fun, and you know, oh, always a bit demotivating. Certainly, like I had to complete right, had to completely write off the day. And that was going to be my uh, our podcast recording day. Um, yeah, because um, I'm working on a podcast at the moment. I'm. It. We're probably going to probably going to unveil it because we've got two episodes and recording a third. Uh, tonight, so I think we'll probably have. Hopefully, we'll have like four. No, no, no. We're gonna record four. We're gonna have the fourth one recorded, uh, and then we're gonna unveil three. Um, and I've really, I, you know, I. It's been a really, really cool process. It's been really good to like edit, edit stuff. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, sorry, I got completely distracted by his cloud thing. Oh god, oh, that's, a, that's probably one of the first laughs I've had this week. Um, but yeah, so I mean, that's 
<laughs> he, he, he lost it, didn't he? Um, I, yo, it, it, it's it's been it's been quite good. It's been quite motivating. I'm, I haven't, but obviously because of that and because of all the other stuff that's been going on, I haven't had a chance to kind of update my branding for um, for Twitch. I've kind of got some of my the branding I use for other sites on, so. Um, you know, it's the the avatar in case you're wondering is Dave Forrester from uh, the Hideo Kojima game Police Notes, and the picture is just uh, a sunset that I I like fiddled with in Photoshop. Well, in Affinity Photo, um, it's like a Photoshop clone. It's not really a clone. It's a it's a Photoshop like program. It's image manipulation. Anyway, um, oh, there we go. Oh, careful! Oh, now I said careful immediately before I just binned it. So I kind of want to do some more edited content. Um, I love to kind of like take some of these streams and kind of, kind of at least clip bits from them and put them on YouTube. So, um, but you know, I'll, I'll see about that. I was probably going to start doing it with this with this season, but I might wait until the next season and do it that way. Or maybe, or maybe I'll do these as kind of like a lost season. But these these are kind of weird videos. Um, yeah, not especially. Uh, you know, I, I, you know, I, I think they're going to be a bit. They're not going to be the most enjoyable thing, things to watch editing content of. Um, what else? I think that's mostly it, really. Um, yeah, it's mostly just been uh, self-doubt creeping, re rearing its ugly head once again, um, and trying to find ways to kind of, uh, you know, s abate that and, you know, keep positive and keep, you know, and, and, and working on positive content. I do have a lot of, a lot of stuff I want to try though. That, that hasn't changed. And I, I think it's a case of, oh, 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 that's, that's like a combo lost. Um, I think it's just, just a case of, you know, oh, okay, we're not far away. Um, it's just a case of keep. You know, try, try, try to keep in as positive a headspace as possible. Let yourself not be in a positive headspace when, you know, like, like if, if, you know, if it's going to be better to just kind of like, you know, let yourself feel, let yourself be sad than let yourself be sad. And just, um, you know, and, you know, just kind of, you know, start the path, start the path of kind of, you know, getting happier and trying to avoid all the worries around because there's a lot of there's a lot of worries out there uh there's a lot of like really there's a lot of people who are very in very high position of power who are doing very irresponsible things um and that oh, that really sucks um you know and there's, there's some interesting i mean there's some interesting discussions to have in all that uh, oh god, I've got to quite that. Alright. Where do I go next? <laughs> oh yeah, fucking. Oh yeah, t oh yeah, Turf K Rowing. Um. Yeah, so it's. Yeah, so I suppose, it, I suppose it's an effort to kind of try and forget, make people forget about, like, you know, these kind of incredible, um, Black Lives Matter protests that are happening. Uh, JK Rowling decided, oh, I, I need the world to be, I need to, people to talk about me again, and then and start just. Talking utter transphobic bollocks. People, you know, reasonably said, "Hey, that, hey, that's no fun. That's not cool. You've and you've said shit like this before. I, you know, I'd rather you didn't. Um, you know, you, your work's had a very positive influence on people, and like you're undermining that by being an exception, by by saying some stuff that's exceptionally damaging with a very large platform." Uh, she responded with a 3,600 word uh, woe is me fest, I think is the best way to describe it. Um, you know, I, I'm not going to go through the whole, whole of it because it's an exceptionally long and very bad article. I, I, would, I would actually say it was a waste of time to, what, to read the whole thing. So I read it and I analysed and I was like, no, no, like, it's either, it's, it's a mix of dog whistles, bad research, um, the only good bits were a personal testimony, uh, which, you know, had nothing to do with uh, with trans rights at all. <laughs> right, where 
Where is Lakehurst? There it is. Shut up, Anna. <laughs> um, yeah, so, yeah, she, she, acts, yeah just a, it was just an exceptionally ugly post, and I don't know how she thought it would be anything other than that, and she didn't, like, it, you know, she even called it Turf War, it's like, as if, you know, like, as if she knew. Um, I, I, you know, I think, you know, I, 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 I think she, she she made a very big mistake to do that. I'm very happy that Daniel Radcliffe and Emma Watson have have, have, um, have done the opposite. They kind of um, they're not. They're, I mean, some people have said she, they have like clapped back or um, or you know been or, or like responded angrily or started a fight or whatever. No, that's true. They they made very cogent, very very valid points about um, you know. They, they they just said like trans lives matter trans you know trans women are women trans you know the trans experience you know trans experience is exceptionally valuable to people you know they they responded to hate with love and that's you know a wonderful thing obviously not always always possible sometimes that is you know responding to hate with love is something that's weaponized as if like you know as if you're not allowed to be angry at your own injustice. But, you know, they responded as good an allies as really possible. I, I believe they both donate I believe they both donated to uh, to trans advocacy charities as well, which is good. Um and JK's kind of JK's gone to like uh point she's gone to like point eight on on the Lunahan scale. L Lunahan would have been a one, but I think at this point he's like a five hundred, so like he's he's well off the deep end at this point. And yeah, it's one of those kind of interesting things where, you know, of, co of course she has like the right to say the stuff she did, but also like, you know, you sometimes have to take a step back and re and have a, a look at who, which people, uh, you know, who are actually, um, you know, siding with you. Like, it, like if you say something like, you know, like, that's wrong, and either you know it's wrong or you're... Or, or, or you know whether you're ignorant about it or not, and the people who and the people who defend you are like really nasty, nasty people. Um, then that's the point where you have to go like, wait, am I sure I'm right? This is the whole "Are we the baddies?" thing from uh, Mitchell and Weblock. <laughs> it's like it's just the kind of ridiculous. Um, you know, we got like black skulls and stuff. Like, aren't you, you know, are we the baddies? <laughs> Um, yeah, it, it's, it, that's kind of what, how I, how I, how I see a lot of the people defending J.K. Rowling. Um, you know, it's like, it's like, I'm not sure you want to be going down this path. And I, I don't know at this point whether because I mean, at some point you have to start giving people to bed for them. Like, oh, okay, well, they really just don't give a shit, so, um. So there's that. Uh, there is uh, all the statues being knocked down. Um, we, I'm going to, which I'm going to kind of combine with um, some, with the removal of um, a number of shows from streaming services because they're kind of too hard with the same um, erasing history coin. That that is kind of used as a uh, as a kind of counter argument to um, kind of anti fascist and anti racist pro uh, anti racist protests. Um, Edda Coulson, I, I mean, I, I, I don't think I'm caught in controversy to say that taking down you know taking down, taking down a racist slave driver's um, statue, you know, is the good and right thing to do. It should be said as well with the Edward Coulson thing. Uh, and which I'm going to mention heavily here because uh, it's obviously not the most recent. Uh, the Columbus statues have been taken down and beheaded in America. Um, there are a few other um, similar statues that have been defaced. Um, doo -doo -doo. Um, but um, that that's that's kind of an interesting example because people were kind of appalled like you know they're erasing history or something but 
the, the thing about statues is they are an exceptionally bad way of recording history. Uh, building a monument to something isn't really um, create you know, isn't really providing an historical or artifact or historical document. It's a cheap way of celebrating. It's a cheap way of celebrating a figure, um, and it's you, you often under the guise of memorialising or whatever. Um, you know, and so like it, it, it. If you don't want to celebrate slave driving anymore, maybe it's best that the statue goes gets taken down. Take maybe you know if it has historical value in its own right, and take it to a museum. Uh, but fair on that, just like I don't know, put it in a warehouse. You replace it by something more representative of um, you know. You know, press it with something far more representative. Um, you know, as long as they are historical artifacts and historical documents, then you don't really need statues. You know, like you don't need you, you don't need a statue celebrating. Like some people said, oh, well, you can't you can't have um, you know, we're not, we're not celebrating. We're just you know just you know it's just remembering what it was in his crimes or whatever. But um, you know we don't have statues. We don't have statues of some some history's greatest monsters, or do we? Like you know, <laughs> you know, you know, yeah. You, I mean, you, you know, the the I, I I'm I'm kind of surprised that the, the same people who are so appalled by that statue getting taken down or genocidal hate hateful racist Winston Churchill, you know, statue got defaced. Um. That you know, but but they seem to say nothing when you know Saddam Hussein's got taken down, or you know, what or people or people like that. It's it's uh or or, or when all the Nat or when all the Nazi like uh, you know statues and um, monuments and things like that got blown up uh, after World War Two. Like it's it does seem it seems a bit weird, doesn't it? Um. Then I, the, you know, but you know, I, I mean, everything about twenty twenty is kind of weird, I suppose. So you know, you know, pe people people defending defending literal slave drivers that own the libs isn't entirely a shock. Uh, let's see what the trial is anyway before we before we go on. Uh, so it's another. So it's, we need an, okay, so we need an A rank. Uh. We should we should have an A rank thing going. Um, we need yeah we need an A A rank uh, muscle car. Um, if we don't have anything suitable, then I might use um, I might I might just shoot the Monaro, but I'm pretty sure I have one. Unless this was it, unless this was the 800, um, you know, uh, muscle car. Um, I'm pretty sure I had more. Oh shit! I'm pretty sure I had more than one though. Anyway, um, the other part of this coin is um, certain shows getting removed from uh, Netflix because of, um, well, to, to refer, because they have blackface in them. Like, um, it's, I, I think it, that's one of those things that requires a lot more context. I, I mean, I'm, I'm, it's tricky. I'm one of those. I'm like, as much as I, as much as it's easy to take Lee in, <laughs> it shows like Little Britain be removed. Um, and to be fair, with Little Britain, even even the um, the the, the uh, creators of the show are like, yeah, we be kind of fucked up there. And then they did comply with me when they managed to fuck up again. <laughs> but you know, there are some there are shows where it, it's. A product of the time, product of the year, or whatever, and um, I suppose the question, the question I always have when, when it comes to the issues of censorship is: Is this a it, you know, it, it, it is is it man is it state mandated for a start, um, you know, or is it a, or is it a private a private institution? And if it's the latter, is there a version that is easily available? Ah, here we go. Let's go for the. 
Yeah, let's go for the Gen FTS. Yes, I, I remember that one being alright. Um, if it's what if it's a case of a show that is um, you know that that is on is on private network, is there a widely available version of the show that's uncensored? And if that's the case, then you know then then fine. Uh, I mean, the ideal thing would be to put shows like this with. Um, uh, try to find a word that isn't problematic. It's problematic and it's overloaded language. Um, well, racist. Let's, let's just leave it at that. We have shows with like racist depictions, or um, you know, or a wildly homophobic or transphobic or whatever. They have like things like the child children of a different era. Like the the show is not the show isn't the creators having all that kind of stuff. And you know, a lot of shows are like that. If you can. I think it's in egregious examples. It might be best to have like uh, recontextualization, where it's like this was acceptable at the time, but it's reprehensible now, or something like that. Um, I, you know, that might be something that you can do, or this has been kept as a historical artifact. That's, I believe, what HBO Max is doing with um, Gone with the Wind, because Gone with the Wind obviously is a film about the old South. Oops, shit. <laughs> it's, a, it's a film about the old South, um, you know, and uh, plenty of them. Like, funnily enough, like Song of the South has never, you know, has, ne has never had a video release, and you know, has very similar racist themes to Come with the Wind. What the hell? Yeah, this is not the right car. Um, yeah, I don't think this would be a dirt run. Oh, bollocks. Oh, that was a really helpful respawn. You sold this. <laughs> we need um we, we need a car we need a car with dirt tires. Um there's no way about that. Uh, um if the Monaro will have them, I might just get a stock Monaro and just fit tires. Oh, that was that that was ridiculous. Uh, right. So, um, but yeah, like so. It's it's kind of one of those things where because um, like I think it was like Little Britain was uh, Little Britain and um, uh, come fly with me were like first, and honestly, I can imagine Matt Lucas and David Williams actually being like, yeah, we we fucked up, <laughs> and. My, part of, part of me is like, well, you know, God at least to do something, but there are caveats to that. One of which um, is that this is not, you know, th th you know this is a very, um, it, it, ugh, how do I put this? this it, it's a it's a it's a very plastic gesture, and also it should be said like very quickly that this is not. No, this isn't anything, anything. This is nothing in the slightest demand by the Black, right, uh, the Black Lives Matter movement, and it's not in the slightest anything that is, um, you know, that is part that is. Um, it's 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 not related to the you know the hunt for um, you know the 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 kind of hunt for equality and justice that we are that we're seeing in America and obviously in other places, this is a this 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 is specifically about this is specifically some I think a show of support maybe a misguided show of support. Um, I I think it's one of those things you can, you can end up. Um, you, mm, it, you you can you you can end up hiding like stuff away. I, I think I think sometimes when you've got stuff that's so big and so uh, has made uh, has been so successful, I'd rather you have something. Shut up, Anna. <laughs> I'd rather it, 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 it'd probably be better to kind of shine a light on stuff like this rather than rather, rather than immediately ban it. Um. So like the the main contentious thing I've seen is um, 
there are you know there's the stuff like there's stuff like the uh, the uh, the mighty boost which, which have like a bunch of characters in blackface uh there are um i think the in-betweeners had something i i don't i don't know about that i don't know about the in-betweeners stuff um but the main contentious one is um and again it's one of those things that's kind of been misinterpreted um is the um the issues surrounding Faulty Towers, a, a, an episode, the specifically the Don't Mention the War episode, is being re-edited, I believe for like the third or fourth time. Um, because it got re-edited in 2013 to remove repeated use of, uh, 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 of a racial slur. Um, and, I mean, obviously, the, you know, the episode's famous for the Don't Mention the War stuff, but like, there was a lot of quite weird racist stuff in that episode, and John Cleese has gone on record and say I I regret that. Yeah, you know, and you you get that sometimes, like the certain eras, which um, you know, there's, the the certain stuff that has aged exceptionally badly, and um, I think it, it's one of those things. It's very safe to say that um, that it's not that. Uh, Faulty Towers has, like, not aged the best. It is it is a fantastic show, but it has not aged brilliantly. And I don't think that's fair. Like, so, you know, show, shows often don't. Time... Time is not always kind to, um... to venerable, um... television. There we go. We do a full roll bar. We should be able to... We should, we should fit as an 800. That's good. Um... Yeah, I'm a little bit more conflicted by most, but it's kind of it's the I I I see I get why they do it, but I I see it as I see it as a kind of a facile gesture, and the problem is it has a it does have a profoundly negative side effect of um, making people associate um, like you know your know, battles for it for 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 equality and justice and. Uh, against police brutality to weird, bizarre, weird, bizarre uh, censorship exercises, which it absolutely isn't. And the problem is, people are already conflating uh, statue removals to this, and you know, like erasing history and stuff like that. And people were making some weird, bizarre, like interviews, like, "Oh, is white chicks racist?" Well, yeah, it is. <laughs> um, but it, it, it's it's a it's it's a different kind of thing. I think. I, I, I think it's one of those things that it's it's an issue that requires a lot more nuance than I think you're going to get. Um, so that's kind of my 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 viewpoint on that. Um, so I think that's most of the heavy stuff out of the way. <laughs> um, there we go. <laughs> As we get to the trial, uh, PS Five launch. It does look very gorgeous. Uh, it looks very interesting. I'm not. In I'm not really interested in the in the ps5 per se because i'm not really i don't really buy consoles i, I only buy consoles which have very specific interesting gimmicks uh, so like i bought the, the, the switch is the last console i bought and i i tend to only buy stuff that's kind of portable now so um i don't think i'm gonna have a use for a, for a ps5 uh but it's gonna lead to, but the thing about it is it's is going to lead to a jump in quality in PS in, in PC games. Um, also, the, the the remastering well, the remaking I believe uh, Demon Souls, uh, the first uh, Souls game, uh, which is very exciting. I'm hope I've heard rumors about them doing a Bloodborne remake in the same way, and I really hope that's true. Um, so that's exciting. No idea about prices. No idea about most stuff about it really. Um, you know, it'll probably be quite cool, but <laughs> all the rocks that have re -rele are planning on re-releasing GTA 5 again on it. Making GTA 5, I think, the, the, the Skyrim of the next generation. It's, yeah, it's, um, it's weird. And I hope, it, you know, um, we'll, see, we'll see how it all works out. Um, I don't think they've got launch, I don't think they've got prices or launch dates yet. Um, so that's something. I believe there is a, a 
I believe there's a PC gaming like expo thing tonight as well. Uh, and I've heard rumours that Persona 4 Golden is going to be on. Uh, is going to get is going to get a release immediately at the event. And I'm hoping so much that that's true. It's one of those things like if they if they put Persona on PC, it's like take my money, every single penny of it. <laughs> I will I will happily. I love uh, I love Persona 3, and I'm dying to play Persona 5. And I I kind of I'm kind of curious about Persona 4 as well. Ah, this is more like it. Yeah, so. It's a dirt racing series, so I've got to actually have a car that's designed for dirt racing. <laughs> Run Tum Tung in 92! Yeah, because when I think, I, when I think um, you know, racing games, I think cats. Uh, although, I, although I only know the Gumby Cat song. When the day's hustle and bustle is gone, the Gumby Cat dies, rises up, or something like that. I'm not a big fan of cats. Cats is not my musical. I'm. More, I'm more a fan of uh, musicals like Chess and uh, Les Mis, um, and I, I, I kind of like Phantom, although Phantom is a little bit of a melodrama, and I think elements of it are way too um, are designed with complex with uh, complexity in mind rather than um, like it's it's kind of like pop complexity. It's kind of like pop prog, I guess, at times, and. Um, Elements of that are really cool, and elements of it are incoherent. It, it's, um, but then again, I've um, I will have to admit that I've not seen it. I've not seen it performed in concert. I've only I've, I've heard um, I, I've heard albums of it. Oh shit! What did I do that for? I forgot. I'm, I forgot. I'm on my, I forgot. I'm on my mind. Should be okay though. Uh, we should be able to come back from this. Uh, yeah. Oh, get back in. Get back in line. Uh, the good thing is rally tires. Uh, I don't. I don't know if I have rally suspension. I don't think I do. Ooh. Yeah, I don't think. I definitely don't think I do. Um, actually, no, I do. No, no, I set that up, didn't I? Um, I was, sorry, I was, sorry, that was quite absent minded of me. Uh, rally tires, rally suspension. Um, you know, uh, all wheel drive. Um, this, you know, which will make us run a lot quicker. Right. If two of us can get past him. Now, can I catch up? We don't have a lot of time left, so that's the only problem. Because I know exactly where the finish line is, and it's there. Yeah, I'm not going to get it. No. Oh, bollocks. Shit. It wouldn't have been enough anyway, I don't think. Mm. No, it's not happening. Um. Yeah, okay. Oh, well, we'll get him next time. Um, I'm happy with Monaro though. Monaro is, seems like a very good runner for um, doing these challenges. Um, yes, the PS5, uh, there's PS5, there's the Xbox Series X. Um, not really interested in either by themselves, but I'm interested in the, P the, the advances to PC games we're going to get from it. And I think we're going to get some really cool stuff coming. Uh, in the next few years, it'll be it'll, it'll be awesome. And also, it's always fascinating to watch like launch stuff, like just be like, ooh, that's kind of interesting. And then, like a week later, like, actually, that was crap. But it, but at least they tried. Like uh, that was basically the PS4 rumor in a nutshell. Like you, the first few weeks, like oh wow, this is incredible. And oh wait, it's Watchdogs. Never mind. <laughs> and um, yeah, that was when I got my first like. That's right. Actually, when I got um, Able, my the game PC I'm using now, like it's obviously been massively upgraded since. I um, like most of the parts are actually you know completely different. I've got new RAM, I've got a new motherboard, new the three hard drives there instead of the one, uh, two SSHDs and one regular HD, uh, new processor, new graphics card. Like it's upgraded pretty much wholly and utterly. Um, since uh, 2014 and I'll probably be uh, probably in a couple of years I'll probably well maybe not even a couple of years maybe next you know I'll, I'll see how the job stuff's going and where my life is but I might end up upgrading again not you know quite soon right here we go this is this a lot more promising don't oh, I was gonna say if you knock me off I swear <laughs> I swear I swear I, I, I swear to god Brisa, Brisa Brownie bad things will be a thought Bad things will be on in your timeline. 
Um, yeah, so... Lots of cool stuff on the gaming side, which is good, because I've been... Because I've been out of work, I've been, like, going, going to reload again, and I'm like, hmm... Try, tried a lot of games, you know, tried a lot of new games, got a lot of, um... I've got most of the games I'm interested in now, like, um, like I managed to, I managed to play catch up with a lot of games over the last, like, year or so. And finally got a more, got a greater version of them or whatever. Right, Ooh. There we go. Fought all way to lead. Um, now... What is... I actually got, I'm actually surprised how quick, you know, I managed to get through the stuff I wanted to talk about in like an hour and a, an hour and five. Like I, I thought this would take a long time, um, but yeah, st stuff. Ooh. Sorry, I just sort of appeared on my newsfeed. Two hundred and two more uh, coronavirus deaths. How nice. Oh, yeah, it's. Um, it feels a little bit early to start left in lockdown. If I'm honest, like I'm not. Sh I'm not sure that's. A very sensible thing to do, but I suppose given the the economic damage that's already happened, they they feel I I, I and I completely disagree with it that it, it's a, it, it's you know that that you know human lives are a, a worthwhile price to pay for the economy to survive, um, and I fundamentally disagree with that. Um, yeah, uh, I. What else have I been doing? I wrote a poem for the first time in ages, so that was really nice. Um, and I've been working on like fiction stuff. I've been, work I've been working on some other stuff as well. Like um, I've, I've, I've got an art I've kind of been working on an article that's kind of spiraled out of control about um, the rise and fall of Guitar Hero and the Fate of the Rhythm game, just because of how weird and how modern the genre is. Like I didn't actually realize like it pretty much in, it's pretty much the entirety of um, the rhythm game genre with. A couple of very notable exceptions uh, can be traced with a couple of like weird, actually not even notable, like weird exception can be traced to 1996. Like it, Parappa Rapper is like the, the, the start of this rhythm genre, a uh, rhythm game genre, in the form we we kind of know it, which is so crazy. Uh, and then like the next, uh, you know, literally the next game after that was Beat Mania, and then. That's the, you know that spawned the hot the line the Konami line of kind of your B Manny uh, series series of like rhythm games uh, pop and music and stuff like that oh bollocks right got it nope no no that's no. oh god damn it it's doing that thing again fuck it just I've got I've got I've got I've got I've got to take the L on that that's really annoying oh god oh god that score. No, fuck, yo, know, I'm out. <laughs> that's so, that's really, really infuriating. Uh, I, I was winning, I didn't actually realise just how poorly everyone else was doing. So, um, yeah, we've got to, that's, that's really, really annoying. Let's hope for a better race, uh, a better time of it this time. Fast travel back though in order to get there. Um, yeah. Uh, what other stuff is there on the horizon? Not the force horizon, just the horizon horizon. Um, Anna. <laughs> God, God damn it, Anna. <laughs> Why must you be like this? I, 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 I probably, you know, I, I, this is a problem I couldn't tell you in my own creation. I do get that. I think at this point it's just become like a running gag that I just kind of have to yell, shut up Anna every time, she, every time um, it tells her to turn around. Um, it, it, it bad. Now, what, what is, what's next? Uh, to, well, actually, I'd realize I didn't really. I realized, I didn't, yeah, I didn't really finish my kind of thoughts on um, censorship, did I? I, I, I think, I think there is a there, there is a definite risk of a chilling effect, but my kind of rule of it is as long as there is a version available, like an original version available, then you kind of have. To, I think a, you have to consider a lot of it, like TV edits. 
um, ra you know, where like stuff will get edited, you know, like where stuff will get edited off television, and thing, which is you know it's happened since time immemorial. But you can, uh, but like th there is an uncensored version for people interested in archi in archiving. I I think that's fine because uh, there will be people who are, who are purely interested in show in in, in, in shows with um, you know a lot of baggage purely because you know purely to ensure that they're not they're not forgotten about that that like you know you don't forget like oh you know, you know the show you know the show that's you know kind of heralded yeah it had some really shitty stuff in it too and I, I think that's important I think it's important to kind of look at stuff with the right context um, I think the problem is people don't like that that sort of thing nuance and people stake a lot of their identity and ego in the stuff they like there we go right so hopefully that will just put me straight in bingo um, so, you know, but I suppose the thing as well is like I'm coming from this from a position like from a position of video games, uh, like you know we, <sighs> yeah. I mean, I'll, I'll 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 finish up my point and then I'll talk about this how this relates to computer games. Um, Netflix ultimately can do what they want. Like it's you know it's they have the it's their platform. Um, you know, it costs them. You know, it costs them money to license out these shows. If 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 all it's going to lead to is loss of if if all it's going to do for them is lead to a loss of subscribers of people who, if if they think it'll lead to a sufficient loss of subscribers or a sufficient negative attention, then you know whatever. That's their prerogative. That's that's on them. And I think that's the thing as well. Like it shouldn't be no protests, no not even people who are like you know, not even people who are like kind of like. Campaign to to take st to take stuff off should really be criticised for it. Like ultimately, it is a, it is a, a decision from a higher up. And if you don't like that, then your issue isn't isn't censorship. Your issue your issue is the free markets. Your issue is your, your issue is capitalism. Your issue is um, with Netflix. And um, you know, if that's your issue, buy DVDs. You know, Little Britain had there's like a gazillion Little Britain DVDs. And, Bargain bins across the nation. You will find your 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 fine fucking. I don't know if I can even say some of the names because it's so racist. You'll be able to find like the bloody um, the, the the two naked ladies. One a one a, one a fat naked lady and one a, and one uh, David Williams. Uh, you know, dressed in you know, well dressed dressed in a female female black body suit. You'll be able to find that shit. You know, Mighty Bush has like so many DVD releases. Like well, these. It always reminds you of people who are like I'm being censored when you know, and they complain about it on a national newspaper with a massive platform. It's like, no, you're not. <laughs> it's simple. It's like it's as basic as you you you're actually not, mate. You know, and it it I you know, this stuff is still widely available. This stuff is still you know. Yeah, you know, I would love for it to kind of be given given an appropriate context. Although I'm not sure what the appropriate context would be for Little Britain. Like it was two thousand and like four or five, and it's like, oh, to us even at the time, a lot of people were like, Jesus, you got this, <laughs> Jesus, there's a lot of like really racist, really crude stuff in this. You know. That was spiffy. <laughs> so, sorry, sorry, got distracted by not tr not trying to spin out. Um, there's a lot of really bad stuff in Little Britain. Um, I was never a big fan of uh, Mighty Boosh, but that was but not really based on any other kind of stuff that was um, that that apparently that apparently is, be is being removed. My, I suppose my kind of thing is you have two, yeah, you kind of have two. There's kind of two schools of thought in the matter. One is either the the jokes were incidental and it's kind of a bit. You know, and it was like just like a really cheap like punchline or whatever, and so it doesn't matter if it gets removed. And then the other one, and then the other one is well, the show's fun when you built around these horrible like this, the, these these kind of horrible racist caricatures. And so I'm not sure we can miss it being removed. I should stress from a uh, from from not from history, but from a um, a streaming platform. It's 
I see it as kind of similar, and I've had arguments with people who disagree with me. I, I see it as similar to a, um, a similar to a statue thing, because Netflix and like HBO Max and Amazon Prime or whatever, they don't have everything every single show in the world. I mean, they, you know, often often they they deliberately get exclusivity deals with each other, um, but you know, they will pick stuff and essentially put it on a pedestal like that's that's kind of that's kind of thing it's, it's like they are essentially they are to television uh, to to your know, kind of art um tell you on tell your uh, motion picture history as statues are to history history it's you know, it's picking what you want to kind of celebrate what you want to venerate what you want to showcase and um you know, I as long as there is a version of this stuff available for people who want it for whatever reason, I presume purely for for archival purposes, then that's fine. There isn't. A, I do have another mindset though, where I'm like, I, I kind of want shows like that to stay purely so they can be put on blast and people can go like, yeah, you did do this though. <laughs> you know, like, like you know, David White, if. Heaven forbid! I really hope he doesn't. They, you know, David Williams or Matt Lucas went like, you know, Mason isn't that bad in Britain. Like, you know, we're long past the days to love thy neighbor. It's like, well, you did do this though. <laughs> like, just, just hold it on. Like, you know, it's like, look at this shit. <laughs> you know, <laughs> oh my god, I used, a, I used a Nickelback meme in this. Like, dear god, I, 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 I don't even like Nickelback. I, in fact, I really do not like Nickelback. Um, but it's, it's. I, it's one of those things like, as long as avail as a version of the show is available, I am it, it's never going to be a hill I'm going to die on. Um, particularly since you know, I'm, I, you know, most of my my view of uh, of of like history of literature and things like that come from uh, comes from games where you have you have you've always had an issue of arca of arcade and video games games are an exceptionally ephemeral art form to the point where pe and people have said that ephemera ephemera that's not the word that that ephemeral nature that, that we'll go with that is the very reason why they're not art at all they are you know the the, the pop culture and i i disagree um i i i believe games i believe games definitely are fundamentally art. I, I believe there is some beautiful game, beautiful games out there and obviously and I believe also you know, game, kind of games have, are works of literature and have the potential to you have the potential to tell some of the greatest stories in the, in the world through the medium of video games um, I, I, you know, and, I, and, I, and, I, and I think that's very important I, I do believe games should be protected um, should, should, should be protected in the, sa in the same way that um, that television and, and, and film is but at the same time, lots of games have been censored, lots of games have been edited, and generally, and you're, and generally like the, the way around that is, if a game's censored or, or edited, uh, fine, just you know you can get patches that will put the put the cut content back. Um, that's bollocks. I refuse. That is utter shit. I, I. There we go. That was very annoying. <laughs> Thankfully, I'm way out. I, I was me and uh, Dancing Donut were way out in front. Um, it's you know, like you, you, we've dealt with censorship like this. We dealt with very immature players. We dealt with very immature. Um, we dealt with a very. We dealt with a very immature audience. Um, and you know, it, it, gaming. I've always made. I've always kind of made the point that it's kind of been an awkward adolescence. It's kind of been in that way for year, for, for like a decade. So. <laughs> But like you know, there are works of unquestionable beauty and art, and uh, you know, incredible. You, know, you can tell incredible, beautiful stories involving incredible, beautiful people in gaming now, and like you can involve people, and you can make people, you can you can make people feel empathy in a way that you never that you can't in other media because you don't you don't have as much access, you don't have as much control, you know. Um, I watched. Uh, I, I played uh, that Dragon Cancer uh, about five years ago, and it was heart wrenching. Uh, like really, you know, it, it kind of 
it, it hurts and unsettles you in a way that nothing else about because I mean, so many things have been made about uh, about about cancer. It's such an awful, merciless, merciless disease. But Jack Dragon Cancer hit me in a way they ha they couldn't. Even though as a game it was a bit ropey and there was a really really bad like platform in the middle, like it. It, it it just it it hits you in a, in a very different way and I I really like that and um, I think there's room f there's room for stuff like that in in gaming and I want I wish there was a way to for for art to kind of be placed in in a kind of an appropriate context where it's like you and like you have to like you know in a way that's kind of unavoidable um, I suppose kind of what I like. Um, no, actually, that wouldn't work. I was gonna say like the uh, the homage meter from uh, space, but I I don't know. Yeah, I I I don't know what the answer is really. Um, I just know it's there. There are greater hills to die on, uh, like the one I just fell from. <laughs> Where um, yeah, we are. I think this is when the oh bollocks! Sorry, I've just in the score. Oh, that is disappointing. Oh god, how did everyone, did everyone drop out? Is it just us? Is it just me and dancing down? No, no, they are here. They just, <laughs> they managed to come 9th, 10th, 11th and 12th. Oh god. Oh man, at least it's another race. Oh dear. Um, yeah. And you know, and like, the thing about it is like, there's so much stuff out there. There's so many, um, there's so many, like, fascinating, um, I, I suppose you always have, I, I'm always a bit worried of, of, of throwing the baby out with the bathwater with, certain, with, with, with stuff like art. Like, art is something, like, obviously, you know, like, I, it's something I studied, it's something I find somewhat sacred. Um, but it's, but the problem is, of course, is that I, you know, Games as art, it you know, gaming is inherently an ephemeral, um, you know, is a, is a is inherently rather ephemeral. Like we've had games nowadays, and this is true of like if, if we had lost films, people would sh would strive for like centuries to try and find them. You know, burned books are considered like an an exceptional crime, but you know, games like sometimes will will will. Obsol will deliberately obsolete themselves and are you know, literally unplayable there's no means of, of playing them, there's no means of archiving them like, you know, you can't play Dark Spore at all like, no matter, even if you own a copy even if you played it, even if you even if you have like loads and loads of hours clocked on it, you cannot play that game anymore because there's no servers and the game will not run without the servers um, you know Scott Pilgrim vs. The World, you can only play either through emulation or, 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 or if you happen to have an Xbox that happens to have the game. Or, or happen to have an Xbox account, uh, an Xbox Live account that happens to have the game, which I do not. I was going to buy it and then I found, uh, then I found it was delisted. Um, you know, and that, you know, and that, and that game is really on. Like, the, and, there's other game, and there's loads of games that are like that because of rights issues. Alpha Protocol! Which is one of the greatest narrative-driven driven games ever ever made. You can't play it anymore because it's delisted from it's delisted because of because of because of its music. Like, you might be able to buy an old key somewhere, but um, you know they're, they're increasing in price they're, and they're not easy to find. Like I actually looked for a friend because I was recommending. I was like, oh, yo, this game's pennies. You, you should be able to get it. And it's like, no, no, I, I know it actually doesn't exist. I said, like, what the fuck. Yeah, you know, thankfully, like you know, if you or if you if you if you bought it beforehand, you still own it. And thankfully, I played it, but like, it's it's so weird, it's so messed up. I'm I really don't know. There's so many games that are like unavailable thanks to I suppose what can only be described as corporate capital like uh, capitalist censorship, like censorship due censorship due to legal rights and stuff like that. Not not censorship due to. Um, not state-driven censorship. It's it's so yeah, it's such a mangled mess, and um, you know, I 
and I, again, we should stress that, like, as much as I've kind of talked about the about the the um, the censorship of like, you know, uh, shows which are generally bad shows with tasteless jokes. Like, I think if I could put tablets or not, there people would be like, eh, fuck it. And it'd be like the one person's like, like, like and share if you are outraged about this. But um, it, you know, I, 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 I get, I, I get, I get the concern. I do get the chilling effect issue. But at the same time, it's, it's a, it's a, it's a streaming issue. It's a, an issue with, um, you know, it's an issue with giant corporations. It is not necessarily. It is not an issue related to a grassroots movement trying to stop police brutality. It, like the, the, they are not one on the same, and I think people can play. I think people can play to the two are at best being scattered, at worst deliberately, at worst being at worst being de de deliberate, at worst kind of deliberately trying to um, reframe. Uh, at worst, they're trying to they're trying to reframe reframe the the issue, uh, and that's just not right. Anyway, happy stuff. <laughs> we'll, we'll get some happy stuff. Um, games are great, aren't they? Um, what? Although I haven't really been playing a whole lot, like, because I've, I've really not been in a mood for it. Like, I've, most of what I've been playing is obviously I've been playing a bit of Forza. Although even then, I missed a few days. I actually, I usually get all the all the kind of uh, the Forza Farm daily stuff, but I actually missed like three. Thankfully, I had I had just enough to get the eighty percent, but only just. Um, I, I beat, um, let's see, what else did I play? Um, I played, I played a bit of Minecraft with my girlfriend, that was nice. It was, uh, it was really nice, it was really chill. Um, got through to clear my head because I was in a very, very bad headspace yesterday. And, uh, she, and that helped, she helped. Um, I played. Uh, I played a lot. I played quite a bit of Thunder Force actually, um, which is a really nice old, really. It's a really cool Mega Drive um, rail shooter. Mega Drive are really good for rail shooters, by the way. It's um, if you happen to not have played a Mega Drive or not played a lot of the stuff, like Gunstar Heroes is obviously like the peak, but you have some incredible other. You have some incredible other stuff that kind of comes out. Like my favorite is is uh, Thunder Force Four. Um, but you have others which are really good as well. Um, I don't know why it's doing the volume thing again. Um, I, I love Thunder Force 4. I love... Um, uh, oh, I, I, love I actually really like Zero Wing. I mean, as much as it's known as a meme these days, it was actually a very, very good um, uh, rail shooter. The stuff I sold these, I believe there's an R-Type. Um, release for Mega Drive, um, and just a load of cool stuff like that. Like it was, I, I'm I'm a big fan of scoring shooters, and so you get some really cool ones. Um, there's a lot of ones I want to play on the Sega CD actually, because like you got because they usually have incredibly good, um, um, they have incredible good music and not bad sound effects and stuff like that, as well as being great. Um, so. I'm gonna have to have a binge of that at some point. Um, I might, I might do some. I'll, I'll see what Mega Drive games are available. I might actually do some like streaming. I might stream some Mega Drive games. Um, so what else? Uh, there's a few game ridiculous games I still want to play. I want to play Zulu Lane Crossfire, mostly because I kind of got it on a a missily drunken whim, and <laughs> it looks so bad. I'm kind of morbidly curious about it. Right, what earth is this Alton Games? Uh, a rank of those two. I definitely have one of them, so we'll we'll, we'll just get it out of the way. I I'm not a big f I, I I've already said I'm not a big fan of playing around games, but you know needs must. Yeah, as as, as as so they say. A big f I right, hopefully that will fix the um weird mobile phone issues I'm having. Um, yeah. Yeah, I really need to... I, there's loads of games I really need to, really need to play. Streets of Rage 4, I haven't actually played yet. <laughs> like, that's been on my that's been on my list for ages of the game I want to play. And uh, Grand, and the remastered version of Grandia 1, um, I need to play that. And I also need, I also need to finally beat Grandia 2, because that game was 
really, really good. Um, what else do I need to play? There's a lot of stuff. Yeah. There's lots of stuff I want to give a go, really. Um, and, like, you know... I, was, I, don't, I, was, I do, I do, I, I still do want to stream through some more. It's just um, time and motivation, and, make, and you know, fit, fitting it around um, interviews and things like that. Maybe what I'll do is I'll do like streams after interviews, just to kind of like, you know, kind of give my confidence a little bit of a boost after you know interviews, because because it can be very draining, kind of very testing sometimes. Um, you know, um, particularly since I do, uh, I'll admit I do feel a bit hard done by at the moment, but we'll, uh, but you know, I think everyone is right now. It's um, it's a it's a rough time for everyone. So if you're struggling, like stay safe. Um, you know, my I'm pretty sure you can message me via via uh, Twitch. So, or if not, then just you know, like. Get, get if not, then just get in touch. I'm pretty. There will, there will be a way to get in touch, um, and uh, I'm more than happy to talk. Uh, I do want to play? I need, I need to play Descendants again. Actually, I haven't played that for a while. I wonder if they patched anything. And also, if, and also, if I'm right, and also, if the rumors are true and Persona comes out, I am so there, and I'm really hoping that they actually just port all the games. Because I would buy all of them. <laughs> I really would. Because um, I've only really put significant time to three. I think I might have played a little bit of four. But three is the one I have very fond memories of. I mean, that's, I suppose that's one of those games that's going to need um, a lot of context for, because, um, bloody hell, it's a game where you summon monsters by shooting yourself in the head, like. <laughs> right, here we go, Autumn Games time. Come on, I should have a, I should have a, um, are they called Utes? Utes? That can, that can succeed. Now, the issue is I need to find the one that actually is decent on, um, in dirt because I need move because I need yeah words 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 I need I'm still bad with these words maneuverability I will need that so let's go for I think I think this is the most recent one I, I got so this will this will probably this is probably going to be the, the best suited right okay um Ooh, I didn't know it made a click. Uh, <laughs> what if it's different for different cars? Like it's based on the actual sound effects. Um, what else uh, would I talk about? If you go on itch.io, there is a very, very, very huge uh, bundle you can get. It's basically, I think it's like something like 1,600 games for a fiver. For five dollars even, so that's like not three fifty. Uh, it's obviously pay what you want. The money is split, I believe, fifty fifty between the developers and um, the NAACP uh, Justice Fund. Um, you know, meant to help. You know, it's like for bailing people. It's, it's like for like bailing people out during protests and stuff like that. Um, very, very good cause. Very important thing. There's some really, 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 really good games there. Pyre is there, which stunned, that was the game that stunned me, because I actually had to scroll down a lot once I, down, once I bought it, because I bought it immediately. So I'm like, well, who cares, 1600 games, there's going to be something good. Celeste is there, uh, Night in the Woods is there, um, God, uh, <laughs> yeah, Celeste, Night in the Woods, Sky Rogue, which is a game I love, I actually bought that game on itch.io, like, when it was like in super duper early access, i got to thank Frank Amatic for that. Uh, Frank Mate is a really good content creator. He, he he runs a show on YouTube called uh, Obscure Game Theater, which is like covers like odd and unique games. Although weirdly enough, some of them I have actually played. Um, he's cool. Uh, I believe he also streams, but I think he streams on YouTube rather than Twitch. Uh, but yeah, he's been around for like since the beginning of YouTube. Like, I, I remember videos he did, like, 
uh, in like 2005, maybe 2006. And I remember like, I remember being loving, there was like a, there was like a series he did on the Super Nintendo version of uh, Space Ace. It's a great, great, great um, load of shit. We. Oh, we've got four. Oh, oh, oh. Good save. Now. Oh, there's WWE Jet! Jet! Oh, bollocks. Right. Uh. I still got time left. Someone is doing my tactic. So. Ah. This is annoying. People are going to start dropping out soon. Ah, oh, fuck. Oh, you. Ah. There we go. Oh, they've all been caught. Uh, right, we've got one left. And I can see... He's... This is not really right. I don't think either of my... My cars are really... Either of my utes are really designed for this. There we go, finally. Right, so we're gonna... We just have to survive. We just have to survive this. Um... <laughs> Right, um, but yeah, really, really good. Um, it's it's a good charity. It's a really good way of supporting it, uh, and you get a comical amount of games. I'm really looking forward to kind of having a, having a bit of a deep dive into that. Um, what I might do actually as, as a stream idea is I might take like um, I'll, I'll take like a few of the games that are really not notable, and maybe run and maybe do a stream built around playing them. So like, um, kind of like what I did with the Descenders and Need for Speed Heat one. Oh, what am I? What did I do that for? Seriously. Thank you. Oh God! Right. We have two mates to survive, um, and there's, we're down to three of us, and they seem to be doing a very good job of pinning people down. Uh, oh. Come on. Shit. That's bad. Right, n uh, less than 90 seconds. Uh, Come on, come on, touch me. There we go. Oh, fuck. Oh. Oh, shit, this is no good. I've got a mate to survive. Ah! <laughs> no. No, 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 no. Yeah, okay, round, okay, we'll lose round one. Now, if no one drops out, then that's fine. Because I think this team's actually okay. Uh, if, but if any, but if people drop out, I've got to drop out. What I'm kind of hoping is somehow they'll lose, they'll win, they win the round and then drop out. Which has happened to me, let alone anything else. It, 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 it's, it's weird like that. Um, yeah. Let's. Let's give this a go. Uh. Flag rush. Flag rush. Oh, we defend first. Uh, flag, flag rush is okay. I quite like that as a game. Oh, I suppose, yeah, I suppose we're on, we're on a fence this the last game, so we're on the fence this time. Right.
So yeah, basically we need a couple of people um, spawn camping and we need people uh, defending areas. What the fuck? Oh, what the fuck was that bolt? Oh, we've already lost someone. Oops, oh no, I accidentally hit the off button. <laughs> yeah, it's it, it, it's unfortunate fact of um, how the seasons, uh, how the seasonal playgrounds work. What does the playground system works in general like you? Because because they're often exceptionally long games. As soon as there's a disadvantage, it's like. People, people will stop, start dropping out and going like, well, I don't really, really want to kind of continue if I can help it. Um, there we go. Open games. Let's see, how long, how long have we streamed? We streamed about an hour 40 and we've got like one of the uh, things done. Which is fine, it's... Uh, cancel, let's see if that works. Still not appeared. There we go. Right, finally. Sometimes, for whatever reason, you actually have to um, log in directly, which is so odd. Right, okay. Uh, you, have, you have to actually find, physically find the kind of the end of entry point rather than being able to do it through Forza Thumb. Like, it, it's kind of weird. Like, it, it, they only do that some of the time, and, and it confuses me. But yeah, anyway, uh, but yeah, I, I love to um, spend, spend a, a stream or two kind of covering games just from that collection. Um, some obvious, I might do some like obvious ones because I'm, I played a lot of Celeste. Uh, well, I beat, so I beat uh, Celeste, although I haven't actually played the new world um, since, they, since they upgraded it. Um, <laughs> It's one of those games that gets you put on like a silly gamer's enemies list, uh, and um, I haven't played. Yes, I haven't played that for a while. I need to play Night in the Woods uh, at some point. I need to play Pyre, uh, although I've got like an epic, so I might play it on that. Although, oh no, I said the E word. Ah, <laughs> yeah. I was actually talking about this um, earlier because I know some people were very. Um, they don't like not using Steam on uh, on PC. For me, it's never been a problem. Like I. Grew up with uh, PC. I grew up with PC gaming. I grew. Up, I, I grew up on my brother's Windows system. I have been through all sorts of belly aches to get, like, yo, <coughs> games running. Like, I remember, Doubt to Drive. I remember uh, Star. I remember the awfulness that was Star Force, um, which is basically Denuvo or uh, Sekiron before. Well, I mean, Sekiron was around at the time, but I, I think Denuvo is more recent. Um, you know, the, I remember the awful, always, I mean, I mean, there's always, the always online requirements for singles games, which is a bit more common now, but, uh, th thanks to things like Steam, but at, at the time, was purely there as a DRM thing, uh, which is ridiculous. And I still think it's ridiculous, I still think, should, I, still, I still absolutely think you should be able to play any single player game offline. Like, you should only have to be online if you need online features, like, it, it doesn't make any sense otherwise, but you'll tend to be online anyway because you need to install patches and shit. Um, you know, all that kind of stuff. Um, and, you know, I mean, there is a lot. I mean, the, the, I, I get the concern because there's a lot of platforms ar around the world. Like, there's obviously the Steam is like the centerpiece of everything, but you also have Origin. Uh, although they move a lot of their games to Steam, and I think they're going to keep doing that. Three players, really. <laughs> Oh god, this is gonna be ridiculous. Please, as long as I'm not on my own, I don't care. <laughs> Honestly, and if I'm not on my own, I'll probably end up getting. Oh, people are gonna drop out, aren't they? Before I even get to choose, <laughs> please stay in enough so one of you drops out, and then I can then we can claim the reward without actually doing anything. <laughs> Luigi needs to win by doing absolutely nothing, guys. Uh, let's keep that guy. Um. But yeah, I mean, there's loads of like um, platforms out there. There's, I mean, the Steam. But other than that, there's obviously the Epic Game Store, which is no end of controversy. Although I, I'm kind of one of those where 
I think a lot of the controversy just purely comes from the being another platform rather than necessarily anything uh, it necessarily does. I mean, it's not it's not a very good uh, storefront. I will admit that. Like, you can only buy one game at a time. The coupons don't really work very well. Um, downloads are a bit funny. Um, the I, I do like the free game a week thing, but it kind of it kind of moves from. Uh, oh, it is two on one. Oh, good. <laughs> we are the Star Force. <laughs> um, Yo, the, the selection of games is weird. Um, I'm not a big fan of exclusivity, so... Um, I mean, I get why people do it, but it's... Um, you know, it, 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 I, I also get why people are very upset by it. I, I get it. Like That's the thing. I get it. I get being bothered by... Um, you. Um, I, get, I get being bothered by... Having, having another platform. I, I, I totally... I totally do. I... I <laughs> I like that. You can't catch me, bonk. I think you're fine. I caught you. But he also looks like he's dropped out. Oh, he has. Look, it says failed to infect. So that's over. I won. Da 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 I don't know why I'm doing my hand. I don't know why I'm doing this with my hand. You can't actually. You can't actually see me. I'm not on webcam. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh. I go for that. Luigi wins by doing very little. Um, so we get the... You only get money here anyway, so it's not even worth it. Like, it's, it's not even the case where you get, like, a rare vehicle or something. Um, my... What is my... Um... But yeah, so, like, yeah, you have Epic, uh, which is weird. I, it's one of the best of the non... Um... Uh, of, of the non-Steam platforms, though, I will say, I will say that much. Um, then you have uh, Origin, which is awful, honestly. And yeah, oh, you can only really play you get EA games on it, so um, it's all, that also makes it potentially very easy to avoid if you're not a fan. Uh, and also, a lot, a lot of this stuff is now has now moved to uh, Steam. So, although I think you, I, thought, I think it's kind of one of those cases where you still need an account, so kind of undermines its own point. Uh, right, so this is A-class. Uh, A-class saloons, it looks like, like super saloons. Um, I am very happy to try one of these. But I think we'll go for the, I think we'll go for the Studio Ghibli. <laughs> I will go for, we need to, we need to, we need to set a course. Oh, it's in Horizon, so that's, that's fine. Uh, ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba. Um, yeah, so you have Steam, you have Origin, uh, you have Epic, you have uh, Battle.net, which very, has very few games on it, uh, most of which are also... Shut up. Shut up, Hannah. Literally, it was telling me not to turn around. What a stupid thing. Um, right, so let's, let's find Maserati. Uh, the Maserati Ghibli. There it is. Uh, you watch, I'll probably have already upgraded. The, no, there is. Give me SQ4. Um, yes, yeah, so. One of. So, yeah, so you have that. You have uh, Battle Night, which is a bit weird. I mean, again, again, it's one of those, like, if you don't play. Uh, if you don't play Overwatch, you don't play Call of Duty, then it's very easy to avoid. Um, start to upgrade. Um. Yeah, because I'm probably going to play another hour and ten, I think. But I might play a little. Yeah, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm probably I'm going to have to do three hours. I will try and I'll probably I'm I might play. I'll probably play up to five, um, if like we're quite close to to complete the season, which I think we are. Um, so that's fair. That's 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 quite cool. Um, and yes, yeah, so we have. So yeah, what we said, we said Steam, which is, it, it's the standard, like, I don't, you know, good, good is kind of a relative thing, oh my word, there's a rainbow there, um, Steam, there's, um, Epic, which I think is, I think is overhated, but it's, it's still isn't very good, 
Uh, Origin, which is very bad, uh, but it's easily avoidable. Battle.net, which is even more avoidable, and that isn't that bad, if I'm entirely honest. Uh, there's some really, there are, there are some good elements to it. Um, there is also Uplay, which was exceptionally bloated. I don't think it is anymore, or is it not as bad? It used to be, but it used to be so, so bad. Okay, so this is weird Idol Master stuff. Um, let's see. Yeah, it's road racing, that's good. So, and then there is, um... Oh, well, that, took, that took a while to, to, to figure out what it wanted to do. Right. Family car friends, so let's go. Um... Then there's Bethesda, which I think has like six games on it, and I think, oh, like, you know, one of them is Fallout 76, so it's like... One's Fallout 76 and one is Fallout Shelter, so you're already doing very badly. <laughs> like, it's a really, really bad system. Um, and then there's weird ones like GOG Galaxy. GOG, honestly, I think if, like, a lot of people are upset about, like, having all these systems. I would actually say probably best to put GOG Galaxy on. I think the only catch with a lot of these is you can't upgrade stuff through external, like, um, clients, which is very annoying because... The one reason why you have to have so many launches up is to it's install patches. Like I think at the moment, like Call, like Call of Duty Warzone has something like a 55 gigabyte update I need to download, and I'm just like crying at the prospect because <laughs> because uh, it's season four. I haven't even played a whole lot of um, Call of Duty. Just I need I need to play Warzone again. But it's one of those games that like I know I'm I'd, I'm not in the right mindset to play that game. As good as I need to, because I'm not great at shooters, so I, so I, know, so I need to play like I need to work extra hard to do all right in them. Oh, 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 oh. like racing games, I'm semi-automatic on, on them. Like I can, I can kind of happily like talk about stuff. I can happily uh, discuss things, or even like you know, interact with interact with a chat or whatever. But without you know, while still playing <laughs> okay never mind <coughs> but I'm playing at a you know, relatively good level obviously not that great since I did like a little barrel roll there there's always one barrel roll of a video apparently <laughs> that's just that's, I don't I don't make the rules um, but um, Call of Duty had to be a bit more focused on it but also Call of Duty has a very but more related to this it has very long patches and it, what would be really helpful is, um, I mean, why people want to all their stuff on Steam is so, so all the downloads are in the right, are in one place. Well, that was a really quick race, or is it felt quick? One th after one thirty eight, was quick. Um, people want to have all their downloads in one place, so, so like as soon as they want to play a game, they don't have to, they don't have to like download an update or whatever. Because that was the bad thing about games in the pre. Um, in in the early years of Steam, when Steam was just Valve games, um, and not and obviously like games with a lot of online patches before that, which which had like online patching systems, uh, games would like would go, would would start and then it'd stop immediately, just so they can. Um, oh, let's see, do we have a? Let's see, what's the other racing? Ah, good, we're in the right place. Uh, yeah, we'll go for that one. Um, Games would like boot up, then they go like that. Nah, now you need to download seventy patches, and it's like, oh, for fuck's sake! And the problem is, some of them had like really, really limited dialogue. Like they were like very basic dialogue boxes, so you have to be, you have to kind of like work around them. Like some of them actually were always on top, so like you couldn't actually even like play a different game without that still being in focus. Like I remember. Um Wolfenstein Enemy Unknown being a nightmare for that, and I definitely remember Fancy Star Universe being incredibly annoying with that. Uh, not helped by the fact I had a relatively limited computer at the time, so which could barely run it. Uh, so it's like, and it was downloading these huge like patches, well, huge for the time patches, and it's just like, oh come on, please just let me play the game. And the thing is, like, I couldn't even play the online version, the online part of that game because it, it was a subscription service for half the game. And it's like. Well, thanks to that, really. Um, but, yeah, let's try Pro. We seem to be doing okay. Um, they, um, 
Yes, and the thing is, it was like different games had different ones. I think the worst ones were games where you... It would be like, this This game is too old to patch, so you have to go go into, go into online, find the upgrade executable, and there was like nine, and sometimes there was like ten of them, like version 0.11 to 0.30, to, to 1.30, version 0. You get the idea, like it just kept, you know, it, it, it couldn't automatically upgrade. Uh, hell, people, as it, you know, people who played a lot of early Minecraft might remember that, remember this happening with the Java thing. Uh, oh, actually, actually, I forgot about um, I forgot about Microsoft Store. Microsoft Store, I played worse. Um, you know, you know, it's, it's a, there are much worse store systems out there. But uh, yeah, like um, it's, I suppose it's better to have some kind of like launcher interface than have nothing. Because if you have nothing, then you have to do some really annoying things involving patching. And I know some people avoid direct downloads of games for precisely that reason, because they have to download and re-download. And some people are the opposite. Some people are like, no, 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 I, I'd rather have that control. And, and that's cool too. Um, if you're playing like, um, you know, and, you know, like, so I, like, I, I, you know, I don't mind that. Particularly for, like, games which don't tend to update as frequently, like ones that don't have massive online multiplayer, like, systems like like the stuff you get in itch.io basically like you know they they obviously they update because every game updates but they don't but they're not usually usually when you get when they when they get to a relatively complete thing unless unless you're on like an early, unless you're, you're on like an early access or you paid for beta or something they're not going to update super duper often and, and, that, and that's cool and you know I, I like you know um i I'm one of those where, like, I think, I I, I think choice is good, <laughs> basically. Uh, I think I think it's good to have the option to, um, you know, play a game however you choose, um, and so the more platforms things are on, the better. Uh, I'm like I don't mind there being other platforms, and I will generally often I will buy stuff for other platforms because I usually get stuff from third party sites anyway. Yeah, let's reduce the difficulty again. <laughs> Mostly because I'm chatting, so like uh, on circuit course, I'm, this car is not really fast enough. Right here we go. Um, at some point, I'll get good enough to do one beatable again, but today is not that day. I'm not really, I'm not really feeling it. If you know what I mean, uh, I'm not really in the, yo. Know, I'm st I'm still not in the greatest headspace. I'm kind of aware of that. Like I'm met a much better like this. This week has kind of like I, I've kind of got to the bottom as low as I could possibly get, and now I'm kind of on my way back up, and uh, th and this is definitely helping. Um, that's the thing. Like it, it is. It is. Streaming is very. I do. I do enjoy streaming, and I think because I have no audience, I can kind of be a lot more candid. Um, no, no, not in a way that will like that will like you know bite me in the ass later, but like as in. I can I can be free to talk about myself or like that's usually the thing I'm most candid about I think. Anyway, um, I'm moving swiftly on to yeah to yeah to um, so yeah so like um, I mean even Geo, I mean GOG Galaxy is probably like the, the best example of how to how to do it like you can there is a launcher this Galaxy which will. Which will download and upgrade your stuff as at will, but you can. But, the, but all the games are DRM free, and you don't need to use Galaxy to play them. And it does have some stuff to help play games which um, are quite old and you know need a little bit of coaxing to life. Yeah. Also, G you know, unlike you know, you know, GOG is obviously like by, by the CD Projekt Red people, so. It, it, it was a very cool way, and like you know, you could get Witcher on a bunch of other platforms as well. I believe it was, I believe it was on Steam. I want to see it was on other stuff as well, like not other console, like other um, platforms. Um, but I can't for life remember off the top of my head because um, I got because I got it straight for GOG because um, because because I got the game for Humble Bundle, and they always give it for like the primary platform, which is. Yo. Although I think in some games, in cases you can actually choose, you can choose Steam or Origin. Um, and obviously in those cases you're obviously going to choose Steam, because why the hell wouldn't you? If you're, if you're, um, you know, if you use Steam, if you use Steam regularly then there's no reason not to choose Steam. 
yeah, so that's what so that's that's kind of where we're at on a um, on a game from. I, I, I there is a, a kind of worry I kind of get like some people are worried that this will lead to like some kind of like crash or contraction of the PC gaming market, and that might happen. But I think I I, I think it would happen in the way the gaming crash happened in the nineties in the mid nineties. Um, you know where you had like a load of consoles. Um, you had the um, oh God, come on really I got that. Uh, where you had um. So you had like you know you had you had your stand like in the nineties you had so many consoles. I, I can't remember exactly how many consoles there were. I think there was something like 14, 15 consoles. In fact, let's check. We'll go like we'll say nineteen ninety five or nineteen ninety six or something like that. You had um, in the mid yeah we'll say mid nineties, and so we can kind of give ourselves a little bit of leeway. Um, you know. We had the Sega Mega, we had the Sega Mega Drive, we had the Super Nintendo, we had the Sony PlayStation, we had the N64, we had the Sega Saturn, we had the Sega CD, we had the Sega 32X, we had the CDI, we had the um, C we had the Amiga CD32, we had the uh, Atari Jaguar. Um, I am I'm only talking I'm not even talking like portable systems here because th that that portable portable systems would just lead to an even bigger list. Um, the Atari Jaguar, the Atari, the uh, Philips CDI, the if you want to count it, if if I suppose we count the CDI, we have to count the uh, Commodore CD TV as well. Um, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to go mad and cut count stuff like the Casio Loopy, like stuff that was never successful. But I but there was a lot of consoles. The the FN Towns Marty, <laughs> um, the Terror Graphics 16, the Terror Graphics CD, the Super Graphics. Uh, although super graphics is, is a bit more of an add-on, um, there was a lot of platforms and like a lot of get and so a lot of incompatibility. And the more incompatibility there is, the more frustration you get from a customer base. Like you want stuff to kind of be available to as many people as possible. You don't want to kind of partition the market out. Um, you know, as much as at least as you know, you want to partition it out at least at least as little as possible. Which is why Microsoft like release games uh, simultaneously for both Win for both Windows and Xbox, um, and why you know, cert like you know, mo which is also why games tend to get timed exclusivity deals rather than for exclusivity deals. So like Final Fantasy VII Remake um, is going to lose its exclusivity in April 2021, so you don't necessarily have to. Um, um, you don't necessarily have to own a PS4 to play it, or I suppose a PS5. Uh, it will be, it, it might be by then as well. Um, you can just own whatever you want. Can we get past? No, uh, no, we can't. <laughs> it's. Here we go. Um. Yeah, you know, and, and like that that kind of like more relaxed attitude to exclusivity is the reason why I'm playing Forza Horizon now. If it was on Xbox, I wouldn't play it. I just that's just as bit as simple as it gets. I I wouldn't really care. Um, I mean, I, I I played I only played the Apex mode of Forza Forza Motorsport. I only played the Apex mode of Forza Motorsport Six because that was available on on, on PC. I don't know. If, I I don't know if if the full version of Six was ever available. Like I have to double check that. Um, but Horizon 3 obviously was, and I, I got that, and I got Horizon 4. Um, well, obviously, because you've seen it right now. Um, you know, exclusivity can, can, can kind of suck sometimes. And, you know, it's part of the reason I don't really get consoles. Well, that, and I usually, like, you know, the way my room's set up, like, I have one TV and, like, so if I wanted to play a console game, I'd have to, like, turn this off. I don't really want to do that. I like, I like playing, um, I like, I like having, I like it being convenient, like, I can, I can have both a, um, a, I, I, I can have, I can have a game on then, like, if something, if some emergency happens, I can alt tab out and I can play, you know, I can deal with an urgent message or whatever. 
Uh, also, I like the idea that I can kind of stream and like make content from the same box. Like, I, I, I like all in one stuff. But I don't like living stuff where it's like, oh, oh yo, we're going to control the living room. We're going to have all in one. It's like, a, it, it's like, it does like, di it does like video and it does like, it, it runs Netflix and it plays games. Like, I mean, like, as in, like, basically, I mean a PC, don't I, really? And that's just me, and I get, like, there's people who want to separate that stuff. There's people who don't want the inconvenience of setting up a, um, a, 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 of setting up a PC, like, because, you know, getting the PC the, to work the way I want it to has, it has been a year, it's been years of work and effort, and a lot of money, honestly. <laughs> like, it's, you know, for how much money I've spent on this rig, I could have bought all the consoles <laughs> and, like, all the games I wanted, but, like, I mean, I, I suppose that's kind of an irony of um, PC gaming, but I think I prefer it, and like I, I do believe it's worth the investment, and I'm I'm happy to to spend the money on on it, and ultimately I you know like you know I spent like four hundred quid, I spent four hundred pound like every four or five years to be able to play pretty much everything on. No, it might not be the best settings, but it's very good settings. It's it's representative of how the game should play. You know, and I can stream, I can record, I can you know, you know, I, I don't have ever have to worry about stuff. And like nowadays, like because I've upgraded this thing a bit better, like I don't even have to worry. Like in the past, I had to worry about um, thermal shutdown and stuff like that. That's probably been an stream for many years, but now I've not had this issue. Like I'm, I can just run whatever I want and play whatever I want. Can we break it time? Literally just. Right, let's, let's rumble. I, yeah, so I'm... I love PC gaming, but I know... But any kind of gaming, like, if you, if you enjoy, is good. <laughs> The only exception I would say is probably is some mo is mobile game because that can that has a habit of being inherently exploitative. Uh, but even then, you can get some really good mobile games, like games which are like you know are either free or you know very cheap or whatever that are really good. <laughs> God, that's some bite to you. So there's always a name that kind of throws me off um, when I'm when I'm chatting about. So I just feel like chatting today. I think that's the thing as well. I'm. Um, well, it, there's a lot of stuff that's happened. I kind of get want to get a lot of it off my chest, uh, and I have for the most part. Like I feel, in, you know, feel a bit more, feel feel a bit better. Oh shit! Break. Oh, oh I, think we, I think we can get him. I. First, I think he's very much in grass here. Um, anyway, um, yeah. Uh, the oh, I mean, there are a few games where I would I I I, I waver, and one one is the the announcement of Gran Turismo Seven, which actually is kind of funny because you know they've kind of you know the implication there is GT Sport doesn't exist, and it's like. <laughs> And that's that's quite funny. Like that, that they'd actually would um, they'd ignore like a, a like a, a major one. They're like the only Jeep Gran Turismo game released in the last generation. Um, but you know, I I I moved on to Forza. I tried playing some of the later GT games. They were okay, but they, they actually kind of felt a little bit old hat. I mean, it might be better with a Wii, honestly, or uh, with more kind of better mapped controls. But I prefer you know. I like driving. Um, I, I like I like playing games on the console. There we go. Push forward. Ooh, no. I said push forward. We can. We actually made it. Uh, we actually made it to the lead. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> uh, GT GT Seven does look really, really, really good though. But the thing is, like, Forza Horizon 5 or whatever, whenever that comes out, that is going to look spectacular as well. And I'm, you know, 
obviously that'll be a game I um, I'm probably going to be still be streaming by then. That'll be a game I probably will do a similar thing to this, but I'll probably do it. I'll probably do it from launch. Um, yeah, but I'm going to try and do some streaming sessions with Steve as well. Uh, Slayer Steve. Uh, Slayer Steve. Shredder Steve. Even well, let's get let's get his name right. Um, on F1 2020 when that comes out uh, in on the seventh of July, which I managed to misread. I actually thought it was seventh of June, and I was like, "Oh yeah, I'll do a, I'll do a, I'll do an extra stream of that." Then wait for my key. It's like, "Oh oh, my key's not arrived yet. I might have to complain about that." And then no no, turns out I have misread the calendar. It's July, not June. As you do, as you do. Right. So <laughs> that's. Um, that's series one. We've got two more. What another which another one which looks like a road racing series. So I'm kind of curious. Uh, money, 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 and then what do we have? Oh, more money. Yeah. And the wheel spin. Yes. <coughs> <coughs> Pardon me. Um, thank heavens for that. Like. That's actually a genuinely cool car for which I've got through wheel spin. I'm, I've kind of had bad luck with it lately, but that, that was very good. Uh, vintage Decades. That is... Is that dirt or cross country? That is cross country. Uh, 1960s. And... The problem is, can, the problem is you can't filter by decade on the... Um, Thing, so you have to kind of like, you kind of have to like, kind of guess. If it's cross country though, I'll probably want something a bit more sturdy. Honestly, my best bet might be get, make, making a rally spec mini or something. In fact, I might do that. that, that in fact, that's going to be what I'm going to do. We'll do that one next. Uh, we'll, we'll walk to there, and we will we will we'll think about it. Don't say it, don't. Anna, Anna. <laughs> oh, I can, I can tell exactly what it's going to say it now because the way the um, the sat nav system works, it's just like D don't say it. I'm like for the love of God, don't say it, and it always does. Alright, so we are looking for 1960s cars. We're gonna, in fact, we're gonna go straight to minis. Uh, we have a Cooper S A97. Wow. We gave that a real. We gave that a real update, didn't we? Uh, once we find like a 60s that's Ooh, Fair Lady Z. <laughs> <laughs> You know what? <laughs> we we are going to take Oliver. We are go we are going to take Oliver. And we are going to make him a C class rally car, which <laughs> is not a very high high watermark. Right, so we need to we're going to auto upgrade, but first we need to. Oh, no, we don't need that. We need rally. Rally suspension. We've got to, we've got to run some caveats first. So we've got, to, we've got to make sure it knows. Rally. And then. Oh, not aero. <laughs> we're totally, we're, where we're going, we don't, don't need aero. Uh, AWTD, dry train. Sadly, can't use a decent. Oh my god, we could, we could, you could turn, you could turn Oliver into a boss actually, like a legitimate boss. <laughs> right, but we're not going to do that. Uh, Two nineteen, we're going to upgrade to um, C rank, or at least as best as we can get uh, to C rank. C. Unable to optimize your car. Five ninety seven, I think, will do though. <laughs> I think we can get away with um we, we can get we can get away with a five ninety seven for um um for these these kind of challenges. Uh, oh, 
uh, we're gonna this is gonna be ridiculous I mean I mean so we need an appro we need some appropriate war paint for the mistake I think that's the best word for it that we're about to make I mean if this doesn't work then this doesn't work but we'll um I I, I think it's worth giving it a try um also, we're going to update our horn because we've we've had like the Windows um, XP shutdown noise for a while. I think it's time for something different. <laughs> Flex seal. <laughs> All of the replica uh, shell cadets. I think we may have to go for. <laughs> uh, I I think we may need to go for fours. <laughs> I think we need to go for the port for the port as a flex seal. Yeah. Don't eat it. Remember that. <laughs> God, that's one thing. I love pitchmen who became who basically just become memes. <laughs> the inception <though. laughs> Yes, <laughs> I think Beethoven <laughs> is appropriate. Right, this this is a mistake. I'm not even going to pretend it's not. This is. Oh, don't say it. Anna, I was actually going the right way as well, so I don't even know why he did that. Right. This is not an exceptionally fast tune, but my hope is is basically it's maneuverable enough. It does feel it does feel very nice to drive actually. I'm not even on like we're gonna be off road where this is apparently gonna be a lot more beneficial. But right, I've have I missed? No. No, thankfully I'm, I'm going the right way. Uh, and then brake heavily. And then accelerate. Oh, no. Accelerate ideally not into a wall. And... There we go. We're, get, we're getting there. Oh, uh... Let's go, Oliver. <laughs> Let's go, our little, our little, little adorable opal cadet. Right. right. So it's cross country circuit to begin with. That should be a good test of where we're at. 
Okay, okay, acceleration's not bad. Uh, maneuverability's not bad. Oh, okay, until I hit that. Until I hit that. <laughs> okay, I may, I, may, I may have hit an outhouse. Uh, right. Okay. <laughs> okay, I take back a lot of what I said. This car is very slow. Uh, it's slow, but it feels fast. That's kind of the weird thing. Like, it's... It's, it's kind of got a bit of a go-kart kind of thing to the driving feel, which is weird for such an old car. It actually feels really quite bouncy and fun. And we're actually, we actually are catching up. I think we're getting like five places in like one turn. Uh, I think it's once we're off-road, we do seem to be faring a lot better. So yeah, we are slow on tarmac. But we should start speeding up now. Yeah, we, yeah, we, yeah. We definitely are. We're definitely catching up, getting grip and stuff. I did. I did. I, I didn't. I wanted to do um, a uh, Mini Cooper bus, but I didn't want to ruin the the, the, the Mini Cooper I'd already done, like, <laughs> like eight ninety seven. Um, and obviously, and obviously the other, and obviously the other minis I had were way too modern. Like it has to be a sixties mini. Oh, that was close. Oh, that was bad. <laughs> kind of tried to mount the other car. Oh, wait, oh, come on. Oh, that's quite a wide turn, but um, I think. Oh, I was trying to thread the needle there, but I think I wasn't quite fast enough to do that. Um, but we are getting closer. To Yoda 4881, who made a much smarter move of picking a buggy. Um, and I actually do have a really spectacular buggy somewhere um, in, uh, in, in, in my uh, Forza garage. Right, so now the question is can I catch up in one lap? I, I'm willing to bet money I can't, but we'll, we'll see what we can do. Uh, big jump. Come on. Oh, no, bad. Actually, let's, let's try not hitting that, actually. Might have a bit of a better chance. But, yeah, didn't hit then. Right, so, we're going to get to what? If we can get to our overtaking. Oh, we're getting close. And we're at our, my favourite overtaking point. So, let's. Oh, hit rocks. Uh, take this curve exceptionally um, in, on the inside. Got him. There we go. That that was that was quite awesome. That was actually quite a good race. Um, I say as if I'm not in mortal danger. Oh no 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 no! Don't get past. Oh you son of a bitch! No, <laughs> not having that. Uh, nope. Got to be one further than that. Let's defend there. Should be able to. Oh, yeah, excellent defending. That's the weird thing about racing is like um, it's amazing the power of defensive driving. Like you know, like a, a lot of times, particularly when cars are quite close, a, a car can only get past if you let them, like if you make a mistake or whatever. And uh, so you get a lot of things where um, it's like you're trying to get past and like just struggling to kind of make up the the pace you need. Right, so we have a cross country scramble, that's a cross country circuit. And that is a another cross country circuit, okay. Actually this was like a dirt racing circuit actually. Yeah. Okay. And then we have a road circuit right at the end. Okay, so this is a multi discipline thing. Do we have anything we can use? the next one then. But well, I should have done it anyway. Uh, push comes to shove, we'll have to respec it, but at least, you know. That'll be a novel exercise anyway. And hopefully if those cars are the same, then we'll, we'll see anyway. We'll, we'll, we'll have a run through. Um, okay. Okay, we have begun. 
we have begun we've already managed to get what there yep our rate our rates above one it's shock horror it's always been above one in like uh, like a show uh sorry I'm just, sorry i've just got like new, i've got like a news tick around um along with um that, that sometimes just appears above my twitch pit feed uh I go 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 we are not going very fast Yeah, we need to restart. We're not, we're not making any progress. But, let's try this again. Hopefully, a little less damn. I think I'm, I think I'm some damage something. Because I just was not getting any speed whatsoever. This feels like a variant of the course we were just on as well. Oh no 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 no. No, that is bad. It's obviously not the same course, but it, it does feel very similar. Which is interesting. Oh, and rewinds have decided to stop working. This, um, that's weird. It just, it just randomly does that. Like, it was just sometimes, I think it's just like a weird glitch. Like, sometimes rewinds will just stop. At some point I will actually get out the list of the known bugs and flaws of Forza Horizon 4 and just be like, yeah, and this is point forty six a or something. Um, yeah, I mean, I mean, most of the game works alright and, you know, they obviously try, so. But it does mean this time we have to rewind, re restart a lot rather than rewind, which is very annoying. Rumble. Right, we're in sixth. Oh, I keep doing that. That's no, no, bad, bad, Dave. to go. Ooh, 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 ooh. Push, 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 Break. And we are in. Okay, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. All right, but we. we Definitely are faring a little bit better. Okay, don't yeah, careful what you hit. For some reason those like uh, lampposts can do like major damage to the engine if they hit, hit in the right place. Um it's kind of oh, oh, damn it. Like that. Right. Pick up the draft, pick up the draft, we we really need to win this one because I don't think the third race is probably not going to be doable. Right, okay. Right, okay. We got, we got, we got the pace back, that's good. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, that, do if that Doom Buggy wins, he's, he's going to be leading the championship and we don't want that. I want to lead the championship. You know, ideally. Right, okay. Um, but I think if Shorty tries to overtake and Yoda has to defend, then that gives me an, a prime opportunity to scoop both of them up. Like that, if you will. Yeah, no rewinds. I'm just gonna live with it. <laughs> I think I think I think at this point we're okay. Um, we just have to survive. Survive another lap. Oh, this is gonna be this is gonna be some quite quite cool, quite close racing. Oh, messed that up really badly. And yeah, that's bad. Right now, the question is, can I 
catch up to them in the lesser lap we have remaining. No, not like that. But oh, we'll see. Uh, uh, we'll see on the downhill sections. I can, I actually can take advantage of my grip and suspension to actually get some to, to actually catch up. Oh, oh, it's close. Oh, yes, I think I got him. That's okay. That's not. That's not too bad then. That's a lot better uh, than I would have expected. I am over. Right. I've got a bit of time. Yeah. And we just need to cross. And there you have it. <laughs> there we go. Fantastic. That's two down, one to go. Now the question is, should I change my specs? Uh, because what I could do, what I could do theoretically is is, um, is spec is respec it for racing, um, but the question is whether it's worth doing that or whether it's just whether it's worth me just. I think I'll give it a try anyway without that, and then if it doesn't work, then I will either spec it or I will find something else to spec uh, to C class. I mean, it's C class. Like it's not you know we're not we're not after like soups we're not after like super machines here. Well, I'm curious to see just how powerful you can make the cadet. Like, I might. I think one thing I'll do before we go on to the last race. Shut up, Anna! <laughs> before we get on to the very last race, is. Um, <laughs> before we get on to the very last race, uh, I, think, I think one thing I will do is. Um, um, there we go. Uh, one thing, yeah. One thing I'll do before I get to the last race. I might, I might just th see hypothetically how powerful you can make this. Because I believe you can get it. You know, with engine slots and stuff like that, I believe you can get it all the way to S one. Maybe higher. Actually, you can get higher than that. And I like cars like that. I like cars that can go all the way up. <laughs> Stop out of abuse. <laughs> oh, I, 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 I'm a. It, 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 it's kind of become a bit of bit of a running thing. Anna, Anna's just Anna's just Anna. Like she's a, it's a satellite navigation. I almost called her a she. It, it, it's a satellite navigation. So, and to be honest, no matter whose voice it would be, it, it, their voice would be the one I'd yell at. I'm not by the self, thanks. How you doing, hot dog plans? I had dog plane even. Sorry, I'm on a phone. It's hard to read names. Yeah. Uh, I'm alright. I mean, uh, Fours is in kind of a weird spot, like in the moment. We're in like a weird ghost season where you've got like they haven't actually got the full proper season ready yet, so um, we're doing like the automatic one instead. So that's kind of weird. Oh, good, you're doing well. Uh, happy Friday. Happy Friday and happy rewind. Can we? Now this is the curse of being specced for rallying when you're uh, when you're on a road course. Uh, oh, I think I got it though. There we go. Okay, that's not too bad. And then, just try to think what the final championship is. Uh, so I'm just going to move my uh, my Twitch feed out of the way. Um, oh, you only have a week. Um, what kind of thing are you getting? I know there's like two very big consoles uh, coming up quite soon, so I don't know. It depends on how long you can wait, I guess. Wii's awesome, though. We we just have some really good racing games. Um but like, they're, obviously, they're a bit weird and a bit limited by uh, the processing power of the Wii. But the but they are awesome. Um, I 
And yeah, I I will admit I paid way too much because I got like the ultimate edition of this game. Um, I think it was like I, I think I paid like forty eight quid or something. Yeah, well, that's that's fair. It, the, the one S is really good. Like it's um, as long as you don't get the old digital version, although you can actually get that quite cheap now. Um, the uh, Xbox One very good for for stuff like this, and yeah, obviously obviously it has Horizon Four, so. You know, it's well, it's well worth getting just for that, and there's some other really good games on it, like Sea of Thieves and things like that. Uh... Right, I am very slow. Am I getting away? I have to... actually, no, I'm not. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, it's fantastic. Um, ever since like Forza t Horizon, not Forza Horizon, Forza Motorsport Two, although I did play Horizon Two. Um, I've been really into the series, like, it's just really, it, it, I, I used to love Gran Turismo back in the day, I, like, I, I had, like, a PlayStation 1 with Gran Turismo, and this kind of tickles the, the same kind of, like, you're, you it's kind of simulation, but it's kind of not, kind of, uh, bone, and it's really, I really like it. I have played a comical amount of hours on Forza Horizon 4, so, it's kind of, even though I paid a lot for it, I kind of I feel like I got my money's worth somehow. Um, but yeah, um, <laughs> but yeah, I yeah you 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 won't regret like getting an Xbox One. I don't think. Um, I, there's yeah, there's a few multi-platform games that are also really good on it. Right, come on. It's very slowly... I can't actually tell if it's catching up or not. <laughs> right, so final championship of the day. I have the Fortune now in DLC. It, I actually really liked it. Um, it has a really cool like uh, treasure hunt mode, which is really, really cool. The only problem I have with it is... Um, the season mode doesn't really update. It's not like uh, regular, regular season mode usually gives you like new cars and lots of like interesting little bits and add-ons. Fortune Island doesn't do that, but the races it does give you are really fun. And um, the treasure hunt mode is really worth it. I still need to wear Lego Speed Champions, so I can't, I can't say whether that's worth it. Although it does have some really cool weird mechanics to it, uh, from what I've heard. Right, final series. Vintage Racers B rank. Stop having mid sentence there. Um, uh, oh, oh, it's full on like old school races. <laughs> oh dear. Um, I probably used the. I don't think I've, I don't think I've, have I upgraded the Napier Rail to after check. Um, I remember, it, I've I've used something like that. It it's weird. Um, I think if you're not into Lego racer type stuff, it's not it's ne it's not never going to appeal. But it has like weird building mechanics and stuff, so it does have some interesting kind of little um, stuff to it. Um, at some point, I will get into it. Um, it's more, mostly just about finding the finding the time to kind of do like it, 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 to get away with doing like two Forza streams a week or something. Because because like it's like I could do that or I could play like another game. Um, so, but I'll definitely have to put, have to try it at some point. Yeah, understandable. It's it's not for everyone. Uh, I would only get it if you're gonna get like um, an, an upgraded edition of the game, like one with like VI with like VIP passes and or car passes or whatever. Although I don't think many of them are worth it. Like you can actually get like almost all the cars you could ever want via the auction house. I mean, obviously that's a big, gr a big, a big time grind, time and money grind, but you can do it. Uh, oh, I'm I doing that. I need to, I need to check my car. Oh, no, no, it's, it's a car. It's not designed. Uh, so it's Napier. Actually, you know what? Filter. Yes, you can. Uh, they usually cost a lot of money. In-game money, not real money. Uh, but you can do it. Uh, like, I think I saw one, like, generally you're looking at, like, between 5 and 20 million, depending on the car. 
Um, so I've only ever done, I've only ever bought like a car at auction when I've needed it for a season. But you, but you can absolutely do it. And um, once you buy like the last like um, houses in the game, you don't really have any use for money, so you can end up accruing a load of it. Um, it's right at the bottom, isn't it? Duh. <laughs> right, okay, so. Napier Railton. Yeah, of course I've said it already. Uh, S1 rank. W154. Yeah, uh, Edinburgh Castle's brilliant. Like, I actually, that's my home at the moment, the, the home base I've, I've set up. Uh, if a B rank. Actually, no, let's try the Bentley. Let's let's let's, let's do some. Let's do some a bit a bit weird. Um, upgrade. We do, just upgrade the B rank. It's a road court. It's a road racing thing, so it's not too bad. Uh, Bamber Castle's very cool. Bamber Castle is actually really good for. Um, oh, uh, oh, and goes up to five seventy three. If six seventy three, uh, Bamber Castle is really good for like the playground mode stuff. Um, like it's probably the best of the playground mode maps. Although I'm not a big fan of the um, of I'm not a big fan of that particular game mode, but it is the best one of theirs. Okay, four. Yeah, we'll go for custom. Go for a custom tune there. Uh, playground mode is basically like it's like a, a weird multiplayer mode. Um, it, it's basically it's, it has like you have like ca you have like catching a flag. You have um, a zombie mode where you have to like touch other other drivers on the other team. There's like flag capture. There's um, kings and stuff like that. But it's an interesting idea. But they're not. I don't think I don't think it's great online because a lot of people will just like. There's no real. Um, Management of abuse. Uh, so, like people, and including me, actually, I'm, I'll, I readily admit to doing this. Like, if, if 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 your team starts losing or starts dropping out, people will just drop out, and eventually you just win by everyone else not being there. Um, so, I kind of mostly do it because it's it I, you know it's in season mode. If I want to complete season mode, I've got to do it. Um, but I love, but I love stuff like the trial, the trial mode, which which is like a different kind of multiplayer racing, is a lot of fun. Uh, we all, basically it's like six people against unbeatable uh, drivers, and that's that's awesome. Ooh, there's actually some really cool little um, designs here. Um, go for go for that one. Uh, yeah, uh, and, and, and I, honestly, the thing that's kind of kept me playing is the season modes, just because there's like, it's a lot of like interesting little. You have to do such such a bunch, such a different bunch of like versatile disciplines, and like, um, you know, once you beat the main mode of the game, Anna. Um, once you once you once you beat like the main mode of the game and like get all and like you know beat all the races, get all the final races and stuff. Um, it's really cool to play, to, to kind of keep you playing. And apparently some drivers on the main road outside agree with me. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we'll give Pro a go, but I can't promise I'll be any good. I, I can't promise I'll win any races with it. I think I think at one point I got up to unbeatable, but like, oh, okay, never mind. This car's actually really good. Oh, this car's really. Oh, hold up. Actong emergency. Come back. <laughs> yeah. F's in, F's in chat for my controller. <laughs> Yeah, bear with me. I've got. I'm gonna get an emergency replacement. <laughs> All the F's in the world. Right there we go. All right, we we are we are back. I think. Uh. 
At least, at least it has the, at least it has the decency to pause the game. <laughs> Don't just leave me going like, hey, why is the analog stick not working? Oh, right, here we go. Right, so I have made a very weird tuning choice. I'm, I think I've got like a, an engine swap, so it's like it's super fast, but it, it only turns when it kind of, you know, apparently, apparently after a committee meeting. Yeah, 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 we're back. Um, <laughs> merciful Zeus. I um, I have like two Bluetooth controllers, um, and so like if one, I think one's just run out of battery, so it, it, it's fine. I'll uh, I'll plug it in, in a second, uh, but I have a, I have a backup to to to, to get by. Uh, it could be. Although, although, although it'd be weird to have a. I think to be honest, I think it's just I think it's just like a, a max a max horsepower tune, honestly, rather than a, a drift one. Like it's it kind of ends up. I think it just drifts because it's old. Although it's actually a surprisingly effective drifting car. Now 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 I now now I, now, I get, now I've got a bit bit more used to it. I say that as I drive into a wall. Uh, but but I suppose the good thing is once once we're on straights and once I'm ahead, I can just keep driving. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, totally. Yeah. I mean, that's that's the thing about old cars, isn't it? They're they're very front heavy and very loaded, so they'll um they will basically you know drift all they want. That's quite cool. I mean, I've seen like um, not, not I've seen um, like car show footage where um, they where they've had like really old like cars doing like like that have been tuned for drifting. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh god, I can't I can't stand shit you bang bang. Um, I think because uh, when I was at school, I watched it in French, so you kind of lose a lot of the nuance that way. Well, that's weird because Ian Fleming wrote it, and I'm a, and I'm a big fan of James Bond. So, <laughs> thanks, Anna. You're the greatest. <laughs> right. Yeah. Okay. So. Let's... <laughs> Let the sky fall. Um. What do you think of the new theme song, the Billy Irish one? I actually think it's really good, like the No Time to Die thing. Um, it's it's better than writings on the wall, basically. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I, I'm definitely going to say. It's worth giving it a listen. It's, it's definitely on YouTube. Uh, they, haven't, they haven't done like a full music video for it yet because um, the next Bond's like ages away. I think. I think actually no, it's been delayed because of uh, COVID nineteen. But like it's it, it was ages away anyway. Um, but yeah, no, that song's definitely worth a listen. Um, yeah, better than Sam Smith's wet writing on the wall. Although that song is not as bad as I expected it to be, given I'm not a big fan of Sam Smith. Um, Ah, ah, ah. Nope. <laughs> Very meek no at the end of that. Right, so... Yeah. Um, I don't mind the stuff... He's done a lot of the stuff with, like, um, I think Rudimental and, like, a bunch of other DJs. He's actually got a good voice for, like, that kind of, like, club song rather than... His own stuff, because his own stuff is has like a pet, you know, has like a BPM that can be measured in negative numbers. It's like, won't you stay with me? It's really slow bollocks like that. Yeah, no, I, I completely agree. Um, over, I think he's overrated, but I think at the same time he's one of those guys. I think who the people who hate him, I do think hate him a bit too much. Like, I, like he's not that bad, but he's not. Yeah, as you say, like there's there's better singers out there. Um. Now, 
can we steal this victory? Are we going to have to settle for second? Second we'll probably do in this championship, though. Uh, come on. Do some, had to do something crazy. Crazy didn't work. <laughs> right, second, second's fine though. Uh, hopefully that. Oh, yeah, we're even. So I'm definitely gonna win the next one, but we're we're doing all right. And the next one's more of a um, a, a point to point race, and uh, and I'm a lot better at them. So let's. Let's give this a go. Um, yeah, I, I, I wanted to make another Bond game on this, so that's that's something I really miss. Like I, I used to love, um, you know, I, I love GoldenEye, and I loved uh, James Bond 007 for the Game Boy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I was wondering what meme I needed that that would that would have fit there. It's like famous last words, right? <laughs> There's a barrier in the way, and his name is John Cena! Okay. Ah, shit, 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 shit. Oh. Oh. Uh, still no. Apparently the cars decide to be barriers rather than just, um... <laughs> I think it's because I, I like my... The, the tune I've got is like all, is basically like all my points have been put in speed basically, so the only recourse I have is to literally just to like be a barrier in front of me. Well, that's, uh, yeah, that's true, like, you know, he, he he's kind of like the wind, it's like, he, you can't see him, but you know he's there. I'm doing like the hand thing, but you, obviously, I don't have webcams, you can't see it. Oh, oh, God, where the, where the hell did you get all that speed from? Ah! Nope, nope, ah. I can't really play, I can't really play that one anyone myself, really. Uh, okay. Right, come on. We're getting there. Uh, 69, nice percent. Also, I hope she, I know that was 20 minutes ago, but thanks for the follow. Um, yeah, really appreciate it. I think we got this one. <laughs> John Cena, I am sure about that. It makes it sound a bit like Ed Miller, man. Are you? Are you am I tough enough? Hell yes, I'm tough enough. <laughs> right. Come on. Oh, thank you very much. I think the thing is with a game like this is it's so because it's kind of a very broad thing. You kind of need to. I, I like ch I can I like chatting about kind of other stuff. And when I'm not being incredibly incompetent, I can I can generally do drive to a reasonable level and still play. So uh, that's quite fun, right? And speaking of which, I think the last thing we have are PR stunts, and they're just like they're just jumps and speed traps and stuff like that. And they're usually very funny. Well, some of them are funny. Some of them are just like, "Oh God, I have to use my, um, um, I ha I have to use exactly one skill that will work." Right, height house. That's the one. And we, what's our record? What do we need? Two hundred miles now, so we need an actual fast car for this. Um, I think actually we can probably get away with. I know what we can get away with. We'll spin. I'm don't worry, I'm gonna do them all at the end. There's like there's like 
Anna. <laughs> you get um. I'm gonna get like a load of wheel spins at once, and basically just that's gonna be the end of the stream with me me just using like like ten wheel spins or something. We need my we need my specialty for PR stunts, which is I call it the Crab Mobile. Um, it is uh, it's the Hoonigan RS two hundred. It's one of the best off road cars, even though it's not really designed for off roading, but it's it's just so quick and so good at jumps. Um, it helps that I've kind of spec'd it out to like not, like X class, so it's ridiculously quick. This is this is a speedy boy. It's not the speediest boy I own though. Uh, we. It, I may if, if, if I can't get 200 on this, I may have to actually use my speediest boy, which is uh, the the Agera RS, uh, which goes at like 280 miles an hour at some point. Ah! He's an uncontrollable speedy boy. Temper your speed, my boy. There. But yeah, it's weird because I've been driving like C class cars all day. Like it's. It's weird driving a car that's like halfway fast. Uh, the D type. What is, what's in like the Jaguar? Uh, I'm about to give that a try then. Um, oh, yeah. Well, oh yeah, I wasn't even close there. Um, kept getting slowed down. Uh, what? You know what? Yeah, I'll have to give that a go. Actually, I'll see if I have one, and if I do, we'll give it we'll give it a go on this task. But yeah, the, um, I do like I do like I do like a Jaguar. Uh, Jaguar XJ E type F type. Nah, I don't have one. Uh, we're trying auto show. Yeah, um, yeah. I, I completely agree with that. I um I'm gonna say with the um I'm gonna say like the Agera RS is insane it's inhumanly fast. Um so it is Ah the Ah the ten million <laughs> the ten million credit one, the the crazy old D type? Ooh, I'm I am incredibly curious. <laughs> Obviously, got to pick something with a Sonic avatar. I, I've got. I'm not still. I, I had like the like twenty odd million going into this, so I, I'm not struggling. <laughs> and I don't have any more like. Be, I don't really have anything else to buy. Like, so I'm just like picking, <laughs> picking randoms. So like, I'm happy to like just indulge stuff. See, like I've got. I still got ten million after that. Right, so. Given it starts at C class, I'm kind of curious just how fast this thing can go. I'm guessing it must involve an engine swap or something. Uh, yeah. Race. Anti roll bars. Weight reduction. Oh, actually, that's protection. Let's not get rid of that. Oh yeah, up the yeah, uh, up the M sixty eight. Certainly, yeah, certainly, uh, yeah. I'll do that as well. Uh, cause I'm curious, like, cause like the fastest I've ever driven anything up there, I think is like, uh, two eighty, I think. Um, and then I kind of lost it, so <laughs> I think I think I ended up in the trees afterwards. This is ah okay. You can put a V10 in it. Okay, now I'm now I'm starting to see why this, why this is so quick. Um, keep it on rear wheel drive. Put the twin turbo on. I'm intrigued if this can do two two eighty. Um oh bloody hell. Oh okay, someone someone go to that. Yeah, you know what? Sad. We're going to use his tuning. <laughs> um, I. Yeah, I'm fine with that. This is good. I I buy that this can do 280 just because of how how fast it is, how um, you know, 
Right, so... Yeah, if we're going to do that run, then we're going to need to move to another... Um, we're gonna have yeah, we're gonna have a quick speed run of this, and then we'll and then we'll do the other speed task. Um, here we go. Ah. I'm gonna right, I'm gonna do it this way, but it's gonna actually. Anna. <laughs> Ooh, that does that does feel exceptionally quick. Yeah, it's actually it's actually reminded me of the Agera. Um like But it's weird having it in such a light car, in such a classic car. Oh my word. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, this would definitely do two eighty, I can buy that already. <laughs> right. Yeah. You have to be a lot more careful with it though. I am, I'm, I'm not going to be surprised, but I'm still going to be amazed if this can beat my record. Uh, my my Agera RS record. I got really close with the uh, Veyron Super Sport as well. That could that could do I think two seventy. Yeah, second exit, aka just drive drive over it. I don't think we're going to need much of a run-up, honestly. <laughs> yeah, it, 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 yeah, I think, yeah, it, it's really not designed with turning in mind, but... My hope is we won't need to do much turning where we're, on the road we're on. Oh, 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 maybe we do. Ah. 264, 268. Yeah, 270. Yeah, we're definitely at 270. And I'm driving like an idiot, so. <laughs> right. Uh, to... Oh, ah! <laughs> Alright. Oh, nope. Oh, actually, I could have gone away with that. <laughs> I could have goofed it through. Believe it or not, I've had to rely on like kind of trick tactics in order to get in order to uh, to get two seventy at times. Oh no 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 no! <laughs> right, this is this is this is kind of wild. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to um... yeah. Right. There we go. That's a bit better. Anna, this isn't the time. <laughs> oh, um, if it'll let me go that far. Uh, just see if I can go from here. Ah, no, I see what you mean. Yeah, I've got to go back further. So, sorry, I, I didn't realize how, I didn't realize how close I was to the um, to the speed trap. Uh, let's rewind to this far as we can go. Oh, this is as far as we can go. Uh, right. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, ba yeah, abandon this run. Uh <laughs> We'll we'll try it going the other way around as well the the other side as well because it's it's sometimes a bit easier to do it down to do it the other way because it's kind of downhill. But I can to I can totally buy this doing two eighty without a shadow of a doubt. Uh yeah right so go back here. We'll go back here and then we'll, tr we'll try one going the other direction um, as well. 
and then I'm gonna tr and then I'll then I'll do the other speed track. I'm, I'm, I know for yeah, this can absolutely do it. This is a really cool car. Like I didn't I didn't expect a car like this to actually be as ludicrously quick as it was. Ooh, I have an EB. Uh, is that the Bugatti EB two ten EB one ten? Because because I got that as well. Uh, I never found it. I never could get it that quick though. Or well, maybe I didn't try. Like I didn't I didn't expect it to get as fast as it did. So uh, yeah, I got that in the wheel. I actually got that in the wheel spin. Like, that was a that was like a really lucky get. Um, there's a few other cars I really like. I love the Forza edition of the um, the Nissan GTR. I think ninety one spec or ninety two spec. It it basically looks like a crazy like racing machine. Um, yeah, I do like that. Though. Like I like how Forza has a lot of odd cars that can like. Just do some really cool. Um, you can do some really cool, like, speed, like top speeds with like cars you wouldn't expect. Right. Okay. The only problem we're doing it this way is we've got to drive all. The, we've got to drive over a roundabout to get to get to it. So brace yourself. Yeah, this is going to go a bit mad. Oh, nearly. <laughs> you too. Turn a bit further inward. Oh, yeah, that's more like it. Okay, we're very close though. Let's not bounce off that car. Uh, made out that then. Ah, not again. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Sorry, I just saw a game attack which was like, Master Gamer, but it was all done in numbers. 271, 16, and I drove like shit. That was amazing. Yeah, this car's crazy good. It might actually be faster than the Aguera. I'm pretty sure I haven't hit the Aguera. I'm pretty sure I haven't uh, matched the... I don't know if I got that speed in the Aguera on that run. I'll have to check. Um... Bear with me, I'm gonna I'm gonna hint to the map and check that. Uh do let's get to the M. Two seventy one point two. I think that actually was my record. <laughs> well, you could, yeah, you called it a hot dog plane. That is a yeah, it, I, this might be the fastest car I own now. Ten million dollars well spent. Well tell me in credits well spent. Um yeah, I'll have to try the EB two, uh, 110 as well, because <laughs> I always liked that car, but I, I, didn't, I didn't think it was that quick, so I haven't really, I didn't bother with, like, the crazy attention I gave to tuning, uh, I get, uh, um, I've given to tuning stuff like the um, the Hoonigan and the Aguera, uh, the Aguera RS even. Alright, so... Bizarre. It's weird. Like it's a. I've got this like classic car, but it feels like I've attached like a Saturn V rocket or something to it. Like it's so quick. Nice. That, I, I love. I love. I love little things like that in um, where like the fastest car isn't the car you would expect. Like um, I know in this game, like if you get the uh, the eight six, the um, the Truno Sprinter. Like, generally it's a terrible car, but, like, it's one of the best drifting cars in the game. If you're, like, engine swap it and stuff. Um, I, I just love stuff like that. Like, I love, like... Like, I, like apparently you can, like, hyperspec, like, the Opal Cadet as well. And I'm, like, I'm just curious to see what on earth that will feel like. Yeah, not even close. But uh, I think if we, get it, if we get it from the other side, we should be able to do it. Oh my god, that's sensational. That, that's just... <laughs> Many questions spring to mind, one of which is how on earth do people know this, but that's just, that's so cool. It's so cool, cool that people kind of figure that out. It's also weird, because you wouldn't think an Alfa Romeo would be like, the king of drifting, like, you'd think it'd be like... 
a, a, a skyline or something. That, that, that's awesome. Thankful, thankfully, drip PR stunts aren't in the uh, aren't in the season mode, uh, so I don't have to, so I don't have to worry about them as much. Um, Don, Joe, and Song. We have to remember that. Like, I'm, I'm kind of curious about a lot of Forza content because, um, you know, it, it seems like a game that would have a really interesting community, but I've never actually found anything. So, um, I'll uh, I'll definitely check him out. Let's push through, punch. Yeah, oh, yeah, I'm definitely gonna. I'm definitely gonna have to watch that P3 drift just because, like, seriously, what the hell? <laughs> like, all right, okay. Yeah, we have time, I think. Time, but we have to get through this left-hander. Nope, <laughs> not like that. Uh. 176. Oh, no, no, that's not happening. Uh, right, so we have to think about this for a second. Maybe we can just go as the crow flies. Oh! Oh! <laughs> it will be better from the other side, but I very nearly did it off-road. Like, I'm, I'm morbidly curious. Like, I was literally like 0.3 of a mile an hour off. Off doing it, so I'm gonna I'm gonna give it one more go. Um, right, I have to get that right back. Right, I do apologize for this indulgence, but I'm I'm so I'm curious if it's possible. But yeah, um, if not, then I will just definitely do it from the other side. It is definitely. It's a lot straighter on the other side. But... Ah! Yeah, no. <laughs> it always looks like it's just about doable as well. That, that's kind of the infuriating thing. But we'll, we'll get it. We'll definitely get it. yourself <laughs> no 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 right I gotta get myself in the right place to start accelerating basically and so which I think will be around here I would argue yeah, don't break there Approach actually. Hmm. I may need to try this with something a bit, a little bit more maneuverable. Yeah, now yeah, I'm gonna have to try. Yeah, I'm gonna have to try some little, something that can handle the corner a bit better. Um, what would that be though? I could try. I could try the atom actually. Um, yeah, because I've, I've got that um, at, nine, uh, at nine nine as well. Uh, yeah, there we go. Um, it, it used to be my like my standard um, like basically do every record car, but then it was like then I tried to. The, the one it can't actually do is the uh, the motorway, the M sixty eight. So 
I had to kind of rely on other car other cars after that. It's like it's it's fast, but it's not fast enough. Only just that. I think I got like two fifty or something with it. Oh, no. Yeah. The key to it though is that this I believe can stay over two hundred miles an hour, provided I don't drive like an idiot. How on earth do I tune this? Seriously. He does. It does seem to want to be a drifty boy, doesn't it? He doesn't want to be a fast boy either. Now, a drifty boy actually probably would be the best shout. Uh, yeah. Uh, right. <laughs> All right. Give this a. Yeah. yeah it sounds good. Yeah, it's not going to be fast enough. Um, hmm. Right. <laughs> Slide to the left. Slide to the right. Crisscross. Everybody crash your car. Um, we're going to attempt my standard... Um, Ooh, actually, let's talk about it before. Uh, yeah, the yeah DTRLM is generally a very good is generally a good shout. This, this is what the one I kind of use when nothing else will work. Because um, it's usually even it's usually probably it probably can be the most maneuverable at the faster speed. Yeah, I can see other players attempting the same thing. Oh, yeah, shit, no tractor! Tract arg, even! Hmm. Fastest, yeah, but still not quick enough. <laughs> oh god. Um right. Let us If we're gonna go for max speed stuff, we'll go we'll go with my classic uh let's go back to Koenigsegg. Gera RS. So in terms of out and out speed, this is like the car I believe was the fastest car I own, but that Jaguar might have beaten it now. Probably gonna be from here. Alright, so yeah. Ooh, nope, 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 nope. Ah, car! <laughs> Don't get in the way of my run, please. Right. 
that that's where the tricky bit begins. Right, so I've got to find a way to get around this corner without losing too much speed, and then yes, got it. Ah, uh, Agera wins in the end. <laughs> Agera always wins. Right, uh, what is the next challenge? Um, does that say Brookside? <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, this one I remember. I, I kind of in the Agera, but I think it's. Well, they're in school. Forgiveness, unity, cooperation. <laughs> I completely agree. <laughs> school teaches people that they don't like school very much. That's kind. Of, that's kind of what I learned. Um, I I learned that I liked learning when it wasn't an institution, and I think that then that's true of a lot of kid, like a lot of like like kids kids who excelled at school but hated it. Um, I think we're gonna go. I'm gonna go maneuverable for this. So, Oops. Uh, yeah, basically. Um, like it's it's the form and function of maths, but you could like teach that by teaching maps, honestly. Like, um, and I remember there were like elements of algebra that literally my maths teacher said. The literally the only reason we're teaching you this is because it's on the course. It means literally nothing else. And it turned out it wasn't even on the exam. <laughs> yeah, X equal to YouTube video tall. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, if X equals uh, 2Y plus X, then what is the value of Y? And the answer is... Sod off. <laughs> right. I really should have checked what the actual um, what the speed I needed was, but I should be okay. Yeah. Come on, my come on, my speedy crabby boy. That's not going to be enough, I don't think. Please be quiet, Anna. Right, so we need to be around 145, 150. Mm -hmm. Brace yourself. Right. Oh, nope, nope. Don't like that. <laughs> okay. But yeah, there is a lot of stuff schools teach that um, really doesn't matter. And there's a lot of stuff that does matter that schools don't teach. And they don't teach... They don't teach it in the right way, I don't think, or they don't teach it in a way that really resonates how important it is. Ooh. Two mile an hour behind, that's not... Yeah, I think we can... Yeah, we're not not far away. The speed of light is three... Yes. <laughs> no, I, I, I agree with that. Like, you know, I... I learned the stuff I like. I, I wanted to study further, and that was kind of about it, really. I didn't, you know. And the problem is, of course, like um, if you, if you, if you're, if you're good at a certain course at uh, school, you go to college, and like they're like, okay, well, everything you learned at school is wrong. Like you know the way you know, we taught you that because we don't want to teach. Um, we, we can't teach kids like the actual way things work. Like it's it's so weird. Um, so I. Like, People's knowledge of like uh, of science and and how and how to re and how to read like li literature and um, things like that like it's it's all based on on kind of stuff that is deliberately wrong but simple and I mean I get why they do it like they have to you have to kind of start somewhere you have to kind of build the building block somewhere but it is something where it is kind of a bit frustrating where um, you're penalised for having a certain way of writing. In a, in, 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 like, I, I mean, I didn't my degree in English, so I suppose I'll talk from that sense. You're told to read a text a certain way in uh, school, and by the time you get to uni, they teach you basically to do the complete opposite. Um, and 
<laughs> oh yeah, because I, yeah, I, I get that. Yeah, that damn dihydrogen, that, that dihydrogen monoxide, am I right? Oh, oh, that was lucky. Was that? And that was lucky, but not enough. Okay. I was so worried I'd hit the house there. <laughs> but yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> you know. Like, I'm fine with kind of, um, I think, I think, I think it's more a case of just room for improvement rather than necessarily being bad. <laughs> um, rather than schooling being necessarily bad. Uh, are you a, um, do apologize, I'm not sure what that is. Right, I know Anna's going to shout at me for this, but we do kind of need to go up this way. Right, there we go, perfect. We weren't actually that far off, so we should be able to get it in time. Uh, are you a... That, was that like religious studies or something? Oh. Come on, come on, come on! Come on. Hell yeah. And that I think is the final PR stunt. I think we're I think we're done. I think that is, that is season mode. Well that is the main parts of season mode. Obviously there's Forza Thumb stuff as well. Um but we Yeah, we have got the seventy six percent, so we just have like four more days of stuff. Oh, I see. Oh, yeah. That is weird. That's a weird way of writing a question like that. That, yeah. Uh, ah, yeah, here we go. Time for some wheel spins. Money. What's well, where I spent a lot, so that's not a problem. Shoes. Um, trying to remember what the weirdest questions I got were. Uh, I remember I, did, I, took, I had to take general studies once um, when I was in college, and that was a waste of time. That was that was a test so bad. Like there was a calculator exam, which I did without a calculator. Like that's how boringly simple it was. Um, and like it, and like it's you know I I'm not I, I, it wasn't me being smart. It was just like it's it's just really bad questions. Oh yeah, ooh yeah. That's that's a bad way of having a close reading question, honestly. Like. Um, like, close reading should be a lot more... You need at least three... Wait, have I run out of spaces? At... Oh my god. I didn't think you could run out of space in your carriage. That's crazy. Like, um... Alright. Yeah. <laughs> no worries. Um, I'm, I'm about to finish uh, finish the stream, actually. So thanks, thanks a lot for, thanks a lot for hanging, out, hanging around. Thanks for the follow. Hope, hope, you, enjoy, um, hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Uh, I tend to stream on Thursdays rather than Fridays, but um, yeah, ho I hope you pop around again. Right. Um. I'm kind of, this is kind of, this, that's kind of wild, like I didn't think you could actually run out of space. Uh, all right, so I've got to, I've got to sell a few cars then. Um, not, I'm, I'm only going to sell really bad ones, or at least ones that are kind of right. Can we sell? Um. Keeping the Forza editions. Um, get rid of one of them. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try at some point. Um, 
on on this on this on the um, hot dog planes recommendation. Maybe uh, next uh, stream I'll do that because we are very close to the end of this one. Uh, set of C El Camino Super Spot and go. All right, that should be enough now to just let me <laughs> let me actually do a, a super wheel spin. We're gonna keep Vulcan. Sell the Nomad. So we're gonna have to be a bit more aggressive about what we sell. The Dino! Well, that's cool. Oh. Oh, that our gun. <laughs> this is gonna become a problem. Don't worry, next week I will get rid of a load of cars so, so we can do this. I, I cannot believe they, have, they actually have like a a limit on space. That seems. that's so ridiculous. Oh wow, we have. <laughs> I probably should sell one of them, really. Um, let's see what else we've got. We've got three Chevelles? God, how. God, I really, God, I really did get a lot of cars. But yeah, seriously, like, you. I'm confused why you okay if that's in five ten yeah we can put one of them. Probably should sell them but uh that's a pain. <laughs> I think you have to sell them at auction and that's yeah, I'm not bothering with that. Uh no plans to sell them. Uh SP2 how do I have three of these? Oh, no, no, don't get in one of them. No. no. <laughs> right, garage. Um, I'll just get back in that. And then my cars. Get two Fords. Need to get rid of another one of them. That one and wait, how do I have four of these? <laughs> okay, bye. God, I have. S wait, do I wait? Oh, good. I kept the Forza Edition one. I'll hold the rest of them. Wait, Forza Edition. Oh, it doesn't. It doesn't matter too much. It's not a car I'm going to really use much. That was Cortina. Right, I should have enough. Um, right, I think at this point we have enough. We should be able to do the last wheel spin. <laughs> oh, I do apologise about that. I genuinely didn't know there was actually a car limit. That's that's quite crazy. And uh, yeah, we just got money in the end. After all that, um, right. So, oh, I just want to say th uh, thanks all um, for. Like watching this, whether you watch it on YouTube, whether you whether you stop by, whether you watch the video on demand, um, I, 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 you know, I actually had a lot of fun with this stream. It was a bit, it was a bit weird, and it's obviously one of those streams. Like when someone when someone pops in, obviously you become it, it does become it does become a lot more fun. Um, I yeah I, it's one of those that it's one of those things that like the end yeah the the last bit of the stream was like so fun. I I, I do hope I um. I do keep streaming. Uh, I'm certainly so going to try. Anyway, uh, I have been uh, Dan LM. Uh, it is. Uh, if you want to uh, get in touch with me, uh, best part, way to do it is my Twitter, Huggy Dave. Other than that, like I, I do have a YouTube, which is also Huggy Dave. Um, and yeah, just have a really good life. Take care of yourself, um, and uh, see ya. <laughs>